ba da ba da ba da ba. I'm not doing anything in the opening because I've always done it. So you, it's yours. Okay. I'm completely out. Completely out. Check marks not saying shit during the opening is what he's saying. Surf. <laughs> Welcome Hola. Everybody. Buenvenidos. I was able to stay silent for 23 seconds. Sir. And the trophy goes to Checkmark. Yes. Welcome to Googleis de Cervezas. Cervezas de Googleis. Also Tambien. The Google. <laughs> 37 tambourines. And two tambourines to you, sir. All the tambourines. So what I'm got to do here, sir, I have to open up my emails. You're, why? And then I have to turn to face you so I can look into those deep eyes of yours. Deep. They're beautiful. They're very inset. Hey, everybody. Uh, welcome to Misophonia Part 2. Uh, Mizo 2. I have the Stick of Fury Stick. again. Oh, nice. Is that what it's called now? Yeah. Stick of Fury? It was called that last time, That's too. That's what it is? Stick yes. of Fury? Oh. It's the little tiny hockey stick in the world. Where did I take a picture of that? Philadelphia Friars. Philadelphia Friars. Made in Canada. You know, those Friars, they're pretty big. Like, Friar oh, Tuck, I bet, probably played pretty Canadia. good hockey back then. Well, yes. Well, we know someone. We know a couple people up in the Canadians. I know William. You know William? Well, I know William. William. He's in uh, the he's in uh, British Columbia. He just moved to Vancouver Island. Very nice. Did yes. he uh, did he uh, contribute to today's? Uh, I didn't podcast? ask him because hmm. I have to WhatsApp him. I can't oh, text him. No. He's only on the WhatsApp, and I always forget. That and you're shit. like, what's WhatsApp? And then I uh, I got a work buddy <laughs> up there too because we got a site up in the Canada, in uh, Northern Ontario, nice. north of the Toronto. Well, welcome everybody to Hello. New Beer Hi. We're glad to see you all back. people. All of them. Sir, Jace. this week, I yes. just want to want to say congratulations. We uh we crossed the 5,000 download threshold today or uh, a couple days ago. Nice. He got the right button, ladies and gentlemen. I knew it was yellow. That's all I knew. Clapping is yellow. 5,000 downloads in and we got it right. For the first Boom. time. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> it only took 68 podcasts. Yeah. So, yeah, we're 39 in, over 5,000 downloads. That, before we begin, like, honestly. Thank, no, lie to us. Thank. Right, we do that every time, don't we? No, you say honestly. I don't. No, we, you say lie to us. No, because you say honestly. Oh, yeah. That's right. But that that being said, with that all yet being said to thou with as per... Don't you hate that expression also? I, I do, because you just say that said. You don't need to say that being said, With that having that been being said. said. You don't have to say that having been said, having been said. It's that said. You know what's worse than that expression? Nah. Can I be honest with you? Oh, that So you've me. been lying to me this whole fucking time? Wait, I just said that. To you. I know. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm my own victim of my own success. Whoa. Of some sort. The secret of your success? Ooh, what am I, Michael J. Fox all yes, of a sudden? Yes, you are. Dude, <sighs> I better not be, because then I'd start... Shaking Stop it! Don't, do, don't, don't. Oh, too soon. No bro. Parkinson's jokes, bro. Oh, okay. I wasn't making fun of him or it. Kinda. Sorry. Five thousand downloads. Go. Five thousand. Good. Thank you. Yes. You, sir, for joining us on this ride and being a huge part of this ride. Roller coaster. And to you, Twitter world. Well, not Twitter world, but the download, the podcast world. To the world of the, the world of the podcast. Did I get a, co- a compliment because I? Did a very high pitched voice or something today? You got okay. <laughs> this like, is did, another thing we need to plug before we continue. I was like, "What?" Yeah. So I was like, "I didn't even remember doing that." If shit. you remember, neither did I, because I'm like, "Who the hell was singing?" It must. I, I had to listen to it to find out who it was. Yeah, and it was you, it was brother. me, the glorious um, pipes of the ding dong. What happened was we we had Taj and Jess on. Yeah. Ms. Garcia. Now she is now part of her own podcast with the gentleman from the MJ News Digest. And he's in the UK, correct? He's in the UK. He's okay. the one who's featured us twice I, on his yes, YouTube channel. Yes, yes, yes. Super nice guy. His name's Tony. Tony. Really great guy. Shout out to Tony. Tony Rack of Lamb or Tony Bag of Donuts? Or no, Tony Antonio. the Rug. He's got a lot more Brit- uh, British than I do. I don't know. Do we have time? So he was listening to our podcast, and he Don't heard he heard someone go, Rock Sanders. And guess who that was? That was me. That was you. I and then it. I went, you don't want to vote on your red line. <laughs> so uh, congratulations. They just launched 
Oh, I episode think it was two was episode today, right? two or three. Yeah, yesterday, the twenty first, but of October. Uh, yes, since we do record in arrears. Y- in arrears, <laughs> I use that with Megzi all the time. I love in arrears. You know, Whoa, wait now. I mean, I love. Wait a minute, no. that came out wrong. But um, Tony, congratulations on launching the podcast, Jess. You are now an influencer of the highest degree. You are a podcaster. Whoa, that's like so. A couple stripes. You. And then we threw in the Trump impression on top of the Rock Sanders. It's been a beautiful day, man. Huge. Huge. I've had the most amazing Twitter experience this week. Yay. Look at you. Not having bad shit happen. I found a way to do it. It's the craziest philosophy. Are you going to tell us? Yeah. Of course I'm going to tell you. I'm anxiously. I'm on the edge of my seat. Well, I'd like all of Twitter to be like this. It's like, hey, you have something new? You know what? I'm just going to like it because I, I encourage you to do what you do. And then, holy, holy crap, miraculously, you get a return encouragement. Like, you keep doing what you do. Shut up. And then, and then you listen to it and you go, hey, I really like this part. Like, just the littlest part about someone's... I've been listening to all, all different kinds of podcasts the last couple of weeks because obviously I've been just getting my yeah. hands dirty. Dibble I, dabble. I don't know if that's the right thing, but getting my hands dirty. Dabbling clean. in all of that. Dabbling in the podcasting. And... uh there's some really good ones out there. There are other ones out there, but they're all, they all have merit. And I see the merit for each one in, in their own right. It may not resonate with me specifically, but I can see something that someone could take away from it. So whenever I see that, man, I just give, I just point out that part that I, that resonate with me and it's become kind of a love fest. I love that. I love love fests. I don't understand how everybody's at each other's throats. <sighs> Because like, blah, 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 no, you, no, you. No, how about, you're awesome. No, you're awesome. No. To answer your question, some people equal shit. That's how people are each other's. I thought all people, I thought people equal shit. No, I am revising the previous statements. We have a new Slipknot-ism. On the next album, some people equal shit. Some people. Not all of them. You know, I would love to get him on. Me too. Corey, what up? Corey, Corey, uh, hello, Corey. Please come on to the Slipknot podcast that we will have for one episode. (laughs) Well, there's nine dudes. Can't we have nine episodes? I think we can. Yeah. Yeah, we could have two Tambian of them. Yes. How many is that? Uh, two? T- <laughs> two also. Which, so that would be 18? I don't know. I think gonna, that would be 18. That sucks, bro. Well, that said, 5,000 downloads. Jess launches her thing. Tony launches his. They're in, they're in cahoots in a good way. Yes. Not in a bad. Cahoots is a... Positive hoots. Why is cahoots a negative content? It sounds like fun. Like, hey, we're in cahoots. Sounds like a fun term. Yeah, that's interesting. Why is it a negative connotation? Yeah. It's not like we're, we're performing douchebaggery run amok. No. No, we're in cahoots. Yeah. I feel like George Carlin, where I'm like, sometimes you're in cahoots. What's you sound cahoots? more like... Burns. Gilbert Godfrey. Oh, no. oh. No, George, George Burns. Burns. Yeah. Oh, God, you devil. Oh. Yeah, you sound more like George yeah, Burns. Yeah, I probably do. All right. Well, Not that that's that. a bad thing, but. I screwed that one up, bro. All right, sir. So, uh, 28 minutes in, what are we, no, what are we talking about? No, we're not 20 minutes. I know. Today's c- episode is about... From whom... From whom... Is this topic? I believe this is from... We are we getting, we're getting hand signals... I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. Senior executive producer. Super senior. Super senior executive producer. From the home office. In Scottsdale. In Scottsdale, Arizona. Arizona. The Honorable Mary. Uh, the today's, today's episode is about food. There are three questions. The weirdest thing you ever ate. One food you would never give up. And one food you would never try. I love it. I have a miraculous number of 19. I'm what? not kidding you, dude. I actually literally have 19 responses. No, 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 19? No, 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 19. Paul Hardcastle, no, 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 19? <laughs> the average age of the weird food is 19. No, 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 19. So I, I counted today. I'm like, oh, my God, I have fucking 19. I, I, I'm not, I swear. That's how many responses I got, I'm, which is Kudos. amazing. I even got like, hey, man, I asked my wife, Felicia's mom's, nice. hey, my mom's here. She responded to Beautiful. So we also have a couple specials. We specials. have Ms. Garcia has yes. offered her three, I believe. Okay. 
Do you want to save those extra ones are. for the end? We're going to save for the end because we okay. need our fan base to actually listen to us throughout the entire podcast. Dude, that's that's torture. It's called it's called a tease, bro. Bro, I love when you I'm do teasing. that. So we're not going to say who yet. Okay, but we have a special Canadian, Canadian, a Canadian. I thought you meant like Canada. a Kennedy. Like oh, that would be. I cool. thought you meant like Jackie Kennedy Onassis. Not Robert Kennedy Jr. He he's an interesting guy. He's he's not an anti vaxxer but he's on the vaccine. Didn't he die in the plane crash? No, that's. That's uh, John J. John Jr. Robert is the guy oh, who got shot. Okay. Kid. Okay. Yeah. I got the juniors confused. He uh, Robert he, Jr. Yes, yeah, so I was watching something on Rogan with uh, vaccines, and they they brought him up. He's an interesting guy. I saw him on uh, Bill Maher before. Okay. Smart guy. But c- considering we're talking Ken- Kennedy, you you brought him up, not me. So our tangent is Chris based. Oh, uh, I, I will not take responsibility for that shit. I will. Okay. I, I take responsibility for every tangent, sir. Fuck yeah. Two tangentines. America. Two, two tangentine? Yes. Two tambourines? Two, two tambien. All right. Um, and so we have someone from our crack research staff yes. who chimed in and someone from Canada. Yes. So we'll bring them up and we'll, yeah, we got to send thoughts and prayers out to the person in Canada too. Okay. I'll, I'll talk to you offline about it. But okay. Thoughts and prayers, and we'll, 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 we're going to share at the end. Once again, we need the two people who listen to us to listen to us. So we need the okay the downloads. Um, so foods. Do you want to have any? Th- do you want to? Do you want to guess? You want to have any guesses as to what people said? Um. Yes. Maybe we got to figure this out. Yes. So, maybe. Well, the thing is, we can need I be to honest re- with you? No, lie to me. <laughs> <laughs> We need uh, we need a structure. So, what are the questions themselves from super senior executive producer? The Andy? questions are number one: What is the weirdest food you've ever eaten? Okay. Do we want to do it in those sections? Do we? I do would it in a- think so. I did categorize okay. them. Well, let's do it. That Wouldn't way. that make sense? Yeah. So, chapter one: Would you rather do weirdest last? Um, probably. And then the second question is: What one food would you never give up? Excellent. The third question is, what one food would you never try? That's excellent. And then I do have one where I screwed the pooch because I'm a dummy. And I ask people what they'd want to try that they haven't. Which is not a bad question either. No, I just Like, I've never tried da-da-da. I fucked up communication with you. Yes. Because you told me exactly what to ask. And and I asked, I went contrarian, bro. (laughs) I went off the rails. I don't even, contrarian. Okay. That's what I do. So which question would you like me to relay the answers to first? I think, let's start. With something that we could never give up, because I think that's easy. That we can never give that's up. That's a fun one, because I think everyone's on board with stuff we can't give up. Okay. Are you ready? Yes, sir. I wish we had a drum roll. Uh, we don't. Foods we never <laughs> give up. We are starting off with the honorable best friend from the SoCal Abel. Excellent. He has a tie between the most amazing thing in the world, carnitas, oh. which is deep fried pork shoulder for mm. all the white and, folks out there and many times pulled apart it's usually shredded apart, correct shredded yeah oh it's yeah. so oh, good carnitas is the oh. best that's why i get the carnitas super nachos beautiful instead of the carne asada that's just me and the second was the the meatball soup known as abondigas wow that is an interesting one he cannot he, live without meatball soup he does love his abondigas he loves balls in warm broth yes that's why I like to take baths, sir. Whatever it takes. Because I like balls and warm broth. Yes. And my own stink. That's weird. I know. That was bro. Wrong. That was wrong. Okay. All right. So, okay. I would like to counter that with Megzy. Okay. Please do, sir. Let's go with Megzy. We're going to start with Megzy at the top because she doesn't listen all the way through. So you might as well, <laughs> <laughs> Good might thing as well. we have a very lovely, amazing yeah. girl in your life that doesn't listen. She does. And all I, the I'm way just th- messing with her. Well, she got to the dog part on the last one. Which was like the first 20 minutes of it. Go so ahead, dude. Credit. Credit to Megzy. Um, you're not going to like What the, was the dog part like the on the last one? one? Uh, when we talked about uh, Ava Seas. Oh, yes. Released, of course. Uh, about Ava Stairs, I think. Whatever. We're not even sure what. Hashtag a- Ava Seas. Ava Seas or Ava Stairs. Chair leg. Whichever one it took. I'm not sure. Door. <laughs> um, mushrooms. Oh, Bro. Fuck. Fungus. What a bitch. Fucking serious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, Max. I'm just oh, shit. We knew we were going to get into this. Um, and the other thing is garlic. So I give her garlic because garlic is yeah. garlic tits, bro. I can't live without garlic. As a, What's as that one? Season. 
bleh, the one meat dish with it has it's steak, but it has a like a mashed mushroom sauce over it, and then it has beef. It's beef something. Marsala no, Wellington. It ha- beef, yes, Wellington. Wellington, and then it has the and puff has pastry, the, the phyllo correct. around. Yes, so that's really good. Gordon Ramsay is known for that. That is oh, his specialty. I, I didn't know that. If you go, if you ever go to Vegas, for all the people who listen to us, and you go into steak, Gordon Ramsay steak in Paris. On the strip. Okay. There is not a, in Paris, France. Not in Paris, France. In Paris, Vegas. The hotel. <laughs> not in Paris, Texas. Not Paris, Texas the either. Paris Hotel. Paris Vegas. You go in there, there is neon light of all these like squirrely things in the sky. Yeah. And it's the artist's impression of all the motions that Gordon Ramsay does to make the beef Wellington. Oh, okay. That's that's what they tell you when they give you a little tour. Okay. And then they charge you eight hundred and forty two dollars for a steak. <laughs> It's delicious. That's the cheap one. That's the cheap so, one. So, I, I mean, that's the one thing that I've had where the mushrooms didn't yeah, I could see that. make me want to v- vomit. I pick it up anywhere. I pick it up. It's just, I get I get a, this is why, this is why I don't know if Colorado is going to work for us, bro. I got to figure out how to eat it whole or swallow it. Yeah, tea. we'll just, I'll, dude, it's going to be fine. Okay. I trust It'll you. Be, we'll chop it up as he rolls his <laughs> eyes. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Maybe you should do a, a Twitter poll if we should go video or not. You know what? I'll do that for two weeks. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Because so, well, we'll have to do it after th- when we release this one because okay. we're talking about it, right? Yeah, I understand. So, hello to the world. We're going to put out a poll that's going to ask. Basically, when we make our audio podcast, Podbean, the company with which we have our hosting, or through which we have our hosting, they generate like a still video which is basically just a picture with the name of the on it yeah and it's two hours of a blank screen of basically a non-moving screen yeah for for youtube only for youtube only right on the audio it's blind you can't see it at all because it's audio only but um there's two problems with that one is screen burning sir i'm i'm a geek and i can't have a i never thought about i didn't think about that either till just now screen burning nada not good Yeah, yeah yeah and secondly it's boring af my friend yeah as fuck also Yes, it's either the red owl or the blue owl or the not conscious logo. Yeah, and not, none of the tambians are good there. <laughs> not <laughs> one tambourine. Not one tambourine is good there. Okay. So we are thinking about. Just, You're thinking about. This is new yes. to me. Okay. We did have video earlier, but the way we had it set up, it had glitches and issues and sound quality issues. I can rectify that. I would buy a video camera that's specifically designed to have something plug into it. Would you need two cameras? No, we just need one. We can get two, but we'd have different angles then. But oh, you just put one way right. in the I corner. I think we put one so here so it, it shows on you. It would see both of us. Yeah. Ow. Okay. Yeah, or something. Maybe if we start facing each other, we'll do something from the side or okay. something. We still could get two because they're not expensive. Look, I'm all in with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whatever we want to do, yeah. we can do it. Half and these, then, bro. Okay, cool, bro. I like hashtag Habsies. <laughs> um, so, Twitter world, do we want? Uh, do you want us? Do you want to see us? I guess is a you're question. pretty sexy. Bro. I start with it negative. Like, do you do you really want to see us? You Maybe I should be like, hey guys, how would you love to see us? No, they want to see you, man. And I'm like, oh, you guys. Are He's wearing a shirt, so we got that going for us. This is the and I like your little V neck. It's looking cool, bro. Oh, thanks, bro. It's don't pull it down that much. It's Forty pounds ago, and it's really Stop. huge. It's oh. like a fucking tent. It's got Coleman stitched in the side. You see it? Just like, it's no. a three-person tent. Coleman. Oh, Coleman. You're uh, a dipshit. Uh, yes, so. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, we're thinking about going back to video. And I think that's a smart move to do. It's not, we're not, look, we're not ugly chodes. We are handsome and young, middle-aged and individuals. Young and middle-aged. Young and middle-aged. Dudes. Young. We're the youngest middle-aged people you'll ever meet. Because we're this many years old. I'm holding yes. up eight fingers. Oh, yeah, you were. Uh, I mean, well, I actually, I'm was... holding up... Six fingers and two thumbs. Correct. Thank you. So <laughs> I was like seven. Meanwhile, pull this. <laughs> yeah, um, the emotional intelligence of a fourteen-year-old. Yeah, Our divided EQ. by two. IQ in the one forties. EQ in the forties. <laughs> <laughs> sure. So fuck mushrooms. So fuck mushrooms. But I love garlic. But at the same point, we're thinking about doing video again, and we'll probably do it. Okay. I mean, it's going to be a point where we transition back to that anyway. Okay. There's a lot of people that signed up on YouTube. I'm shocked, but but we're not getting the views. And I think part of the views is that there's a whole rigmarole thing around it. But Okay. Yeah, if we get the right camera, I think we should do it. But, hey, do you guys think we should do it? Yeah, nay or nay? I do. Please go on our Twitter account. Please go on at KnockedCon. Look for the poll and vote. Yeah. When this happens, when this is released. 
as you're pointing vigorously to today's date. Oh, I was pointing my wiener. No, you were not. I was pointing no at today's touching. date. You're right. I was. No touching. All right. Who else? Okay. What else? Who can't give up their second thing? Uh, who, next, next would be Abel's lovely wife, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Dill Pickles. Get the F out. She said Dill Pickles, That's bro. That's the second one I, we've gotten on Dill Pickles. What? Yeah, I'm not going to talk about it yet, but okay. holy mackerel, that is a shocker. Okay. When I, when I read it from, from the person from whom I read it. Yeah. I was like, get the fuck out of here. Not in a bad way. I was just like completely out of left field, but totally legit. Dill pickles are delicious. Yeah, I I, I concur. I do like them on my burgers, mm. and I do. I'm a fan of relish also. Oh, the relish is. I'm a fan of Thousand Island dressing. Yeah, well, you have to have relish and pickles in that. Yeah, it's not Thousand Island that. Other, if it's not that, it's just ketchup and mayo, bro. Right. <laughs> All right, sir. How about this? Yeah. Plain tortilla chips. Get the fuck out yeah. of here. Well, let's give a little... I mean, everyone knows probably by now that we live in Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah, Pahonics. right. So we're in the Southwest. Yeah. The Southwest is very eclectic. In a, <laughs> See? Jeez. It's very much like that. Yeah. Um, Phoenix is half brown. We know. Yeah. But I looked and I, he, this gentleman says tortilla chips. And I'm like, no salsa? He goes, no. And I'm like, what's wrong with you? He's like... Nothing. (laughs) This is why I'm not naming names, because I can't box some people. That's fine. I'm trying to protect some people. I I have no problem with that. But if you think about it, you know, you do use chips. Like, if you, like, oh, my God, I have to give up chips. That means no nachos. Yeah. That that means no chilaquiles. There's a a lot of things that does, that does, right? That does affect. So. Correct. There's, like, oh, hey, you can't, what are you going to use for your guacamole? What's your medium to to put the nacho cheese. The nacho to, cheese. How am I going to get nacho cheese down my gullet and into my belly? That's nacho cheese. If it's not on a chip medium of sorts. Correct. That's I'm the point you. is that, that that's a, yeah. That's if why, I could never have another nacho, I'd be pissed. That is why you're here, sir. You're welcome. <laughs> like, you know how Jerry Maguire is completed by crazy Renee Zellweger? Fat guy. You. In a little coat. Keep me in check, my friend. I keep you in check, Mark. I think I need... I, Chris keeps Mark in check. <laughs> and then Mark C-Z- keeps Megzi in check, and Megzi keeps checking Mark. C Z E C H. If we start it, if we start, no, see, that's the problem. You just talked to a UFO guy I earlier did. today. Yeah. And we're, we're talking about that. We're, we're in the works. We're n- no teaser. No, we're not going to promise anything we can't deliver. But we talk, you were talking UFO and military guy, right? Good yeah. friend of ours. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what what's his new title? His well, what did you call him? Rear Admiral, his I believe. Former was? title. Well, he was in the Air Force. He was like a major or yeah, something. Major, I believe. Major was, Lieutenant yeah. Colonel. And so I call him as a joke, Rear Admiral Gibson. I love that. But he wanted to be called. I want to make sure I state this correctly. Instead of Rear Admiral, he. <laughs> it's my favorite. He wanted to be called. Back. <laughs> I can't even say it. <clears throat> he wanted to be called back. <laughs> Door Commodore. <laughs> you know why? Why? <laughs> this is funny shit. Because he's easy like Sunday morning. <laughs> you're an idiot. <laughs> what am uh, I doing, bro? Uh, you're you're doing the say anything Breakfast Club. Man. Oh, Breakfast Club. Yes, yeah. say anything. Okay, I'm sorry. You're holding up the boombox. <laughs> Settle down, Breakfast Club. All right. So, uh, tortilla chips. Yeah. Total. As now that see you, you brought up a point that I, you can't have nachos without. Well, you can. No, you can't. You can just have all the toppings. <laughs> it's called, uh, meat, cheese, so, you onions. Know, it's kind of like, you know, oh, hey, you go to Chipotle or Chipotle or Chipotle or whatever it's called. And you have a burrito <sighs> bowl, right? So it Correct. would just be a nacho bowl. It just sands chips. Which is dumb as shit, but because you, you, it'll have meat and beans and cheese and guacamole and sour cream and pico, right? Yeah. And you need a fork. But don't you need nacho chips to have nachos? Right. So it would be, it's like a boneless wing. Is it really a wing if this boneless? That's a chicken strip. Oh, let's. That's its own podcast. That's we, a semantic. We can honestly do a podcast about the different types of chicken. Uh, okay. But we're not going to. But we could. Be. Beaks and feet, bro. That's what that's what's in hot dogs, bro. 
No, that's lips and assholes. Oh, yeah, that's right. Get it right. And one part per million? Rat droppings. Yes, of course. <laughs> I think that's from a Wings episode. Sure. So snack chips or tortilla chips in this case. Excellent choice now that you've grounded me. I was about to shit all over that choice, but it's a great choice now. Yeah, because thank you. You're, thank you're, um, you're, I'm sorry and you're welcome. Chris is my favorite. And thank you. What do we got next, man? Next is Rear Admiral Gibson. <laughs> no shit. No, it's not. It's Backdoor it's, Commodore. It's Backdoor Commodore Gibson. Because he's a... Uh, Easy like Sunday morning. Uh, I'm a terrible... Backdoor Commodore. I am not the Mex- Mexican American Idol. Well, guess what, sir? What? We might have to pull out that rendition of Roxanne. Rock Sanders. Oh, that's beautiful, man. You don't have to put on the red light. I'm trying to channel my inner Eddie Murphy on the bus. First. Yes. First off, you sound amazing. Uh, Thank you. Secondly, can you warn me before you do that so I can turn all my audio stuff off? Uh, No, I'm (sighs) never warning you. I love, I told rear Commodore. Backdoor. Backdoor rear Commodore Admiral (laughs) Gibson today that I like to surprise you so I don't tell you a lot of stuff (laughs) so that I can get your very... Very quick, boom responses. So I didn't. I didn't tell you any of the responses on the list. I won't. I'm like, I'm not going to tell him shit. And of course, Mr. Gibson laughed hysterically. I'm like, I, I didn't tell it. him shit. So I get a real response from you. It's it's funny because we go through like I I've been reflecting as we started this. We Why? start reflecting the people that we've contacted, like Chris Eaton, Joe Lex, oh yeah, Chris, yeah. Uh, Elias, uh, a couple other people. You know, a lot of bunch of other brothers and whatnot. But like Danny was one. I I saw him pop up my. Danny likes something. Oh my gosh, Danny. I I always had fond memories. Danny was re- probably, I don't know another way to say it, but he's probably like the most level person that I met through my college experience. Yeah. Like I he agree. never Great was like dude. crazy, like crazy. And he was never like low, like low. He was just like always himself. Like I knew what to get from Danny. Whereas like, for example, for myself, you wouldn't know if I'd be manic or depressed every 38 seconds. Bipolar. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, Kent Polar, bro. Whoa. That's, I think that's four. Hexapolar? Hexapolar would be six, yeah. Okay. Dodecahedropolar? Yes, that's a lot. <laughs> 12? Sure. All right. <laughs> Dodecapolar. So, um, so backdoor Commodore. Backdoor Commodore? Like Coming in hot with pizza. That's the best choice. It's, it, like, we should just call it. We should call it. This, is, this has been the shortest Beer Googles episode in the history of Beer Googles. There were quite a few pizza responses. There were. I've had I have pizza on mine as well. I should have been more specific, like, okay, w- thin crust, thick crust. True. You know, like toppings, white pizza. But you know what happened? Pizza. What? That'd be boring as fuck to listen to on a podcast. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Unlike the rest of us. Do you have a snore totally button on exciting. there, sir, on your little happy board? <laughs> that was a pretty good button, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like my fucking dog, dude. Sounds like a Sesame Street character. You're right. Oh, well, man. <laughs> I agree, though. We should have gotten a little more. But pizza, like anything, I guess, I guess round or square, just round, square, cheese, uh, ketchup, sauce. That's it. That's it. You just need dough, cheese, and sauce, and you've got pizza. You can pretty much eat that anywhere, anytime. You know, one of my favorite things as a kid when I had to, I had to make my own lunch. Get out of here. Yeah. What? Catholic school, we didn't have a cafeteria, right? Right, but... Madre didn't make it? No. Bro. As you shake your head. Um, so my one of my head. favorite things was I'd take an English muffin and I'd put I'd put like ragu sauce on it, a couple slices of cheese, and two little things of pepperoni, put it in the toaster oven for, you know, 90 seconds, then put it in foil, boom, I went off to school. That I was one of my favorite things. You invented the pre bagel bite, sir. Yeah. But that's exactly why people bites super exist. easy, and it tasted good, and it was like a nice break from the nuns beating you all fucking day. Oh, sorry, that didn't come out correctly. Little little known fact. Yeah. Um, to to people who listen to podcasts, yeah. who are about like thirty eight years younger than us, yeah. Um, they so, probably they've always had Totino's, or they've always had like bagel bites. Yeah. We didn't, ladies and gentlemen. We didn't have pre made egos. I don't know if I've ever well, had I guess a pizza ego bite. We had we had egos. I have had a hot pocket. Ooh, wow. And, uh, like Chris, Chris gets one little con- compliment on no, his, on his singing style, heard? and now he's like all of a sudden like no. fucking Pavarotti over here. Did you, you don't know the Jim Gaffigan bit? No. Oh, yes. Hot the panda pockets. one. Yeah. Diarrhea pockets. I love. 
I want to like Jim Gaffigan. I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay. I want to like Jim Gaffigan. Okay. I like Anthony Jeselnik, but I want to well, like Jim Well, Gaffigan's Gaffigan. clean. Yeah, it's and his, the problem. You know. Yeah, it doesn't work for me. Okay. You got to be like raunchy dirty. Well, not raunchy. But it is funny when, he's, is. when he, he says, funny. hey, man, uh, come, up with the, come up with the jingle for Hot Pockets. Um, Hot Pockets? Hot, <laughs> hot Pockets. Yo, know, great job, oh, man. Great go. job. Here's like, a million dollars. Who the fuck thought? It was the dumbest <laughs> shit in the world, yeah. which is true. It's, it's funny. Who came up with the um, bro? Who came up with Yum. Robin? Oh, oh stupid. I don't know. No, but truth be told, I make a joke about, I like Jim Gaffigan. He's a really nice guy. He seems very genuine, and I I like that, and definitely comes through. Yeah. I don't feel like he's going to have a scandal that's going to come out and be like, 10 years from now, like, Jim Gaffigan did X and got It'll be busted like, he ate too many pizzas. On. Yeah, or that'll too be many his, Hot Pockets, and that's had, not, he yeah. had diarrhea on stage. That's about yeah. probably the worst oh. that'll happen. So, yeah, yeah kudos. Thanks. Pizza. You st- you got you got the universal food. So, sir, what where do we say we live again? Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah. The valley cheese of the enchiladas, sun. bro. Yeah, cheese enchiladas. Not chicken. Not chicken. Just cheese enchiladas. I Coming do. from Megzi's side of the family, I all of these are Megzi's side of the family. Okay, I do love. Just we I do love all the enchiladas. Megzi, a Megzi, a family member of Megzi's has his or her birthday. Tomorrow, I believe. Happy birthday. Happy pre-birthday to Megzi's family member. To you. <laughs> and you. Oh, yeah. You too. Also. Oh, to Tammy. Also, yeah. also the Tamian. enchiladas. Yay. Yes, cheese enchiladas. De-freaking-licious. All right, man. We're, we're cranking through these because we've got other stuff to talk about. I'm loving it. Next up was Heather. She said meat. She could never give up meat. Ladies and gentlemen, this just in. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. <laughs> Breaking news. Heather likes meat. <laughs> Film at 11. I was like, uh, Triple X no shit. 11? We all love meat. Yeah, meat. You That's, can't, look, look, it's the tortilla chip. It's you the, can't have meat items without the meat. That's shockingly brilliant. It's brilliant. Excellent. Um, this one comes a little bit. I don't know. This one's a good one. There's another Megzi family member. The Madre. The Madre has decided that ice cream, hot fudge, Sunday specifically. I followed up with banana split. Nope. Not bananas, not splits. Got to be in the cup. Got to have that hot, you know, the that, hot fudge. The side with the thing. Yeah. And, the, and it made me think immediately about that first class that Jerry Seinfeld, when Jerry Seinfeld got to fly first class and Elaine had to be in the back. And they had the hot fudge Sunday, and he flew next <laughs> to the woman, like the supermodel. He's like, see, they put the hot fudge on the bottom so you can control your fudge intake. Or Brilliant. Brilliant. So kudos to that. Uh, Did uh, Mrs. Hot fudge Sunday. Phenomenal. Megzi's mom yes. say that those required nuts or a cherry or whipped cream? The best vanilla ice cream, hot fudge, nuts, Whipped cream and cherry. I the probably full, should not be doing nine. this podcast when I'm hungry. Yeah, I just don't don't eat your arm off trying to get to your sandwich. I brought a PB and J and an oh, apple to, so to get me through this two hour food podcast. Yeah, because what happens is we burn calories while we're sitting here. No, talking. we do not. Oh my god, we burn. We so burn much. calorie. Yes, because we're drinking Diet Dr Pepper, <laughs> which is one calorie or something <laughs> stupid. I think it's zero. Probably. We might break even. <laughs> I gain weight every time we talk. It's really, crazy. I apologize. It's all that air I take in trying to tell you guys stuff. <gasps> I gain like 42 molecules per breath. Oh, it's the worst, isn't oh, it? Oh, man, I'm so bloated at the end of the podcast. <laughs> I just have this huge burp at the end. It's just... <laughs> all right, man, well, what else you got? So try to top a hot fudge sundae, sir. Uh, Roberto said carne asada. <sighs> Wait a minute. Yes. A guy named Roberto? Yeah. He lives in Arizona? Yeah. <laughs> He likes carne asada. I don't believe it. Yeah. Nope. Bush League, bro. I made some on the grill Saturday, dude. I'm just kidding. I went to bro. Food City. <laughs> Food City and the Ranchero place? Oh, Whatever yes. the... What's that other place? El the Ranchero? Ranch, El, is that what it's called? <laughs> yes. <laughs> dude, what's that Ranchero place called? Hey, what's that uh, El Super place called? Uh, oh, El, El Super. Super. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've I've got a pound of the chicken and a pound of the beef at the the carne asada at the the lower 
the quality of the supermarket, the better the meat, the better yeah. the shitty meat that you're throwing on the grill. It's so good, it's dude. So it was so good. lean and flavorful, man. Oh, man. You pour Married a beer on it. Eight years. You pour just, a beer on it and then chop it up and put it in tacos, dude. It was it was one of one because I've made it a million times, but this was really freaking good. Nine times out of ten, I get the the little the tongers. Get the thing onto the plate from the grill. Yeah. Half of it's gone before I even get in there. It doesn't make it onto a taco. Are you kidding me? I'm just like, oh, 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 I pull back. I've got that uh, that marinade lipstick ring. Yes. Just like, you, like a chocolate The lipstick. ring of amazement. <sighs> and then I Scooby-Doo it. Yes. Sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, so basically carne asada is a Scooby snack. Oh, it's totally a Scooby snack. Yeah, right. Oh, 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 <laughs> hey, Scoob. So that's where we're at. Over here. Okay. That's phenomenal answer. Yeah, I'm gonna talk. I'm. I, I could drop the mic, but it's connected to a boom. Yeah, so I can't. You could drop, drop it. The mic boom. I could, well, I'd have to lift it out of its little container. But I don't want to do that. We need to continue. I we um, do. The closing. I'm just gonna do it now. I'm closing I'm time. Go bread, bread, bread. Just I mean, all the bread. Bread. That's a good one. I literally was like, I don't need any more input after that bread. Man, man. Oh. French, sour, English muffin with yeah. pizza style. But does that include like a croissant? It's it? any any kind of flour water mixture with egg, whatever. Like it's got to be that bread. And this is making me rethink my answers. I know it sucks, doesn't it? But that's a great one. So uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, to blow your load, man. But that that's the best answer. <sighs> Might be the best answer. It's, it's bread, man. Well, yeah. bread and butter. If you can't have the butter, then you then it's not. But when you and I go to a restaurant, dude, when we went to Ocean Forty Four, oh. the bread didn't require butter. It was so flaky, and oh. it it was like it melted in your hands. I think they fill the t- the tin in which they bake the bread with that butter, cast iron thing with liquid butter. Yeah, and as it bakes, it just sucks the butter into it because. Whole, it was like a stick of butter per roll. It was so rich and delicious. Yeah. Thank you, Ocean 44. Maybe you can like get us a free meal next time? Maybe you could... Uh, this podcast is brought to you by Ocean 44. Um, uh, I'll have a pork chop tomahawk times two, please. <laughs> I, well, I get two of them, so I'll oh, just have one Oh, tomahawk. Oh, tomahawk. Oh, tomahawk. That's a good-ass pork chop, yeah. bro. Oh, good thing we talk about it every bread. fucking podcast. Yeah, doesn't it suck? Okay, I'm out. Because no it's more. so good. You know what it is, though? It's it's like the real quick. We're, we'll stop talking about the tomahawk. As of now, hey, I'm going to do my best. Tomahawk. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. tomahawk, uh, I yes, have a question. Sir. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, oh, please. That's all. <laughs> you just had to, I just had to, say, had to tomahawk. say tomahawk one yeah. more time. How many more you got? So you got oh, I have like, right? fuck, well, oh, there's three. There, okay. Uh, there's four pizzas coming up. Okay, well, that's those are all the same. Those yeah. don't count, so we're yeah. just going to go through. Just give us the names of the people who said the pizza. So, so uh, can, pizza, so pizza, pizza, recognize. pizza. Four pizzas. Who are they? Was Steve Miller, Steve his Miller? lovely wife, Felicia. Felicia. Uh, Felicia. Mr. Simpson choice. and Mr. Aikens down in the old Pueblo. Boggy Boggs. All said the pizza. Nice. However, nice. Um, <laughs> Felicia's mother, I, who I, I always forgot her name. Hold on. Hi, Felicia's mother. So... For about a year, I just called her Mrs. Felicia's mom. That's cute. Because I always forgot her name. I was like, oh, hi, Mrs. Felicia's mom. Gave her a hug. Okay, come on in, whatever. I'll have some wine, whatever. But I, I just I didn't ever remember her name. You know what I call by, Bob? Mom. Hi, Mark's mom. <laughs> That's awesome. That's beautiful. So Mrs. Felicia's mom yeah. is actually named Jane. Jane says she likes the pizza now. How, however, her answer was chocolate. That's a good one. See, see, all the madres are going dessert. Are you? I mean, it's, so would you rather skill. give up bread or chocolate? No, chocolate can go to hell. Bread is going in my belly, bro. <laughs> I'm. The, you can make so many different types of bread, and you don't. You could even incorporate chocolate into, it, say, a croissant. Yeah, like but, chocolate chip croissant. But if it's just even just flour, water, or egg, like that kind of mixture of no like additive flavoring besides salt. Yeah, maybe a little sugar egg, depending on the bread or whatever. I'd still take bread every time. Give me plain, like, French bread. Do you know that uh, super senior executive producer Mary loves the band Bread? No, I, I've heard of them. I, I didn't until about... Are they unleavened? I believe they have are. Have them improved? Uh, I believe they have. Before baking? Have you been proved before baking, Mary? Yes. Hello, Mary. 
That's my uh, Great British Baking Show, like seasons one through four. That's fantastic. Hello, Mary. What's next on your list? Oh, my next on my list, bro? Yeah. Burgers. Nice. That's Not turkey one. burgers. No. And I'm assuming when you say burgers, obviously we talk food. It's got to be the bun with the burger, cheese added, whatever what, is in between what, the buns and the bun themselves. Whatever your favorite burger is. Correct. So it could be bacon cheese burger. Correct. It's not just the patty. Like, we can't just go burger patty. That's Heather's. Heather just wants meat. So she gets a burger patty. Everyone else gets full, full fledged, full frontal burger. <laughs> <laughs> full uh, frontal burger nudity? Heather gets full frontal meat, and the rest of us get full frontal burger. That sounds like a fun band name. Full frontal burger? Uh, I approve that. All right. Full frontal meat? No. I, don't I like, like full fun, frontal cheeseburger. Ooh, that's Too good. many words. No, yeah. What if it was like full frontal jalapeno cheese bacon? Avocado? Um, avocado, raspberry Double jamish, Whopper. Burger, PB&J. Ugh. Gross. With an egg on it. Running all down the side. Um, burgers Just, with eggs are phenomenal, sir. No. Yeah. It's gross. It allows you to have a burger at breakfast without feeling guilty. I don't feel guilty. I don't give a shit. If I want a burger, I'm going to get a burger. I want an egg, too. Oh, okay. But it shouldn't God. be running down the side. No, no. It. I mean, no, it needs to be either absorbed into the bun like yes. w- with its liquidness or like a medium, like a well done. Where it's yeah, like if it's yolky, not running, like it, okay. Almost like a but spread. But it can't be, there should be no... Almost devil egg consistency, so it's like a smear, like a spread. It's like over a, hard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't, like, yeah. the liquid, you don't want liquid egg on that's your That's what I'm saying, and that's where I've bread. seen it before. It is, and, and generally disgusting. they do it. Yeah, generally they do like a sunny side up or something. Yeah. And it makes it, because the egg flavor then oozes I over get everything. it. It's gross. Okay. You're allowed to have your opinion. I bro. know. That's a judgment. We don't do judgments on I do on when it's Googles. an egg on a goddamn burger. Well, yeah, I guess you can have a couple judgments, but we try to be open, open-minded. open I was at Dead Robin one time. Yeah. And, uh, yum. Right. Dead Robin. Yum. And, oh, sorry, don't uh, they stop have doing the, that because I'm like conditioned now. To, okay. Yeah. With the amazing bottomless fries of doom. They are good. And they, one We've guy, been there a I was times. like, they were like six dudes a year ago. And one guy got the, he got the f- stupid egg on it. And one guy is repulsed by it. You think I have a problem with it? He's, he's disturbed where, the guy like shout two thousand disturbed. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Or for down real. with the sickness disturbed. Monkey down with the sickness for reals. So when the other dude cuts, he cut the burger in half, and it's just and Phil looks at it like kind of like gagging. I'm like, and they were at the opposite ends of the table. I was come on, bro. I was it was it was really a little funny. stomach Phil. It was really funny. Was it Doctor Phil? It was like we're trying to help. You get your burger for breakfast. Is that how he really sounds? I hope it some, sounds the same. I hope I it sounds good coming across on the recording, but I don't think it sounds right. I don't. I had a good Dr. Thank Phil. Thank God I don't day. watch that show because I don't know what I, you're talking about. I'm pretty decent with the Dr. Phil. It's almost like a Forrest Gump. Yeah. After he goes to college. Okay. <laughs> but like graduates. Oh, oh did, he gra- did he graduate? Yeah. Alabama. Well, I know he played. I don't ever know he graduated. Did he graduate? Yeah, didn't you uh, see him graduate? That's oh, when that's he joined right. the army. That's right. He did join. The, that's right. I totally forgot about that. So one. it's so Doctor Phil is Forrest, the college years. <laughs> when I wake up in the morning and alone. Yes, okay. Zach in time. Going to second time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the college. Year. I guess it's got to be. His, oh, you know what it is? The doctorate. The graduate years. Oh. When he gets his degree. When he becomes Dr. Phil. He has to go from Mr. Phil. Okay. To Dr. Phil. That's Forrest Gump. The uh, PhD years. All right. The graduate years. I like it. Psycho. (laughs) So. um, So I got burgers, man. Okay. What you got? Uh, We next, we have two in a row. One one. from Echo Lima. All right. E-L. And one from George Boy. Number one. We have back-to-back steaks. Need you say more? No. It's right up there with the carne asada and the meat and the steak 44. And, and meat. And meat. And burgers. And, um, uh, any specific cut? No. None. What, what's your favorite cut? Uh, top sirloin. Really? Yeah. That's the lower cut of the meat. Yeah, because filet mignon is too... Okay. It, I, too I lean? Yeah, I just don't... Usually it's too thick. 
so it can't be cooked the way I like it. Which is what style? How how well do you um, like it? I like it medium rare to medium. Okay. And yeah, it's usually medium rare just because it's Yeah, thicker. and I like mm-hmm. it a little bit past that. A little bit past. So, and to yeah. me, you know, I don't mind paying 35 bucks for a steak, not but the fillet to me the flavor is not that much better. Yeah. It's, it's the not, tenderness. It's, it's if not it's, if it melts in your yeah, mouth, if it's, it's the right not fillet. What It's not worth it to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, totally. So my favorite is the Delmonico or ribeye. Oh, Delmonico yeah. is a type of ribeye, but basically has to have that fatty marbling for me. Yeah. That's the fla- That's where I get. That's where I love the flavor. Yeah. Now, I love a filet. I mean, it's delicious, cause, but it has to be that melty in your mouth type filet. Right. And I used to get everything medium well. I was a medium well guy, and I've gone all the way down now to medium or medium rare even. Right. And I'm shocked that I was able to get that far because I never thought I would ever go to that side of it. Don't get me wrong. I've eaten like steak tartare, which is raw. Yeah. But I always kept cooked steak and raw steak separate. I always thought that raw steak you just eat like it's not a big deal. I never considered it not even rare. (laughs) You know what I mean? Yeah. When it's cooked, though, I always liked it. Like Pitts, I like what's called Pittsburgh sear. Yes, I do recall that. You got that the first time you went to Steak 44. Yes, sir. I recall that very well. Super crunchy with all the caramelization on the outside and then pretty much medium or medium rare on the inside. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. You put it on the grill frozen. That's the best way to do that. Oh, shit. Yeah. Because then you really get the outside charred charred without it. Or like very cold, like just under frozen. Stay damn, I'm God. fucking hungry. Yeah, man, this is mother trucker. All right, man. Good thing I'm gonna go home and have like vegetables and brown rice and chicken. You are and nothing good. Yeah, is that is that why you look so svelte today? Svelting, sir. I know uh, this is another reason we need video. This yeah. is why I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna push for this. Please vote for video, everybody, because I'm on board. Because we I have know. t-shirts. We you keep bringing in these amazing t-shirts. Can I? T- <laughs> Please. Yeah, t- I wore this t-shirt. It's, this t-shirt on the front says. Hug your dog. The back, it says, dreams are like sticks. You just have to chase them. So I'm wearing this shirt in the store this morning at like fuck, 6 a.m. I go to the grocery store. It's not store. up yours on the back? No. <laughs> like the seven up shirt? Uh, I'm wearing this shirt at like 6.15 in the morning. I go to the store before work. And I'm wearing my dumb mask to buy three things at the grocery store. And this older gentleman, he's... Pr- but you're wearing your mask. I have to because it's a city ordinance. Oh, okay. I don't want to. Yeah, a lot of people don't. I don't... Anyway. <gasps> So this older gentleman, he's probably 65, 70. He's walking the other way towards me and he sees my shirt. He goes, my wife loves a dog more than me. And I freaking cracked <laughs> up out loud. Is that why you're like, I got the best results? It was so funny <laughs> that he just looked at my shirt and blurts it out th- uh, through his mask. It was hysterical. Guess so who- hug your dog. Guess who lo- who who Megs he loves more than me? The dogs, both of them. Both the blind barking one, <laughs> the fourteen year old, and the tw- the soon to be or just turned twelve as well. We've got some old MF and dogs. <clears throat> yeah, mine just turned twelve. She just loves those things, and you called me out last. I did last podcast, man. I no. did. Well, the last one. You it was the one with uh, Trista. Yeah, which I didn't. It was double secret probation. Yeah, it was on. Oh, that. that's right. It was on Plate Story. It was on Plate Story. That's right. So make sure you check that out too. Yeah, we, we have to plug that Trista Polo of Trista Polo and Russell Polo from our Mars episode. Yes, get your Russ to Mars. Get your Russ to Mars. And the other one where we just did a one on one with her or a two on one with her. We, you and I, yes. spoke with her. We didn't do a menage. We did a two on one. Calm down, everybody. Jeez. Easy. Easy, everybody. She's very married. Pump the break. Very and very much in love. Yeah, he's a good dude, and he's a very, very nice guy. We had we just had a very enjoyable conversation, and that's why we brought on the second time to talk about get your rust to malls. Um, Christopher was on it. To the plate story to plate talk story. about our vanity plates. Plate story podcast. P L the number eight S T O R Y with Trista Marco Polo. Yeah, and uh, you had hair metal. Hair MTL. I had don't be, didn't bevel, <laughs> and uh, both of them are on there. So check them out when you can. I think there's one in between us. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, sure, but something like that. But then Chris called me out. He said, "I, I, I think said, you said I, I hate said, dogs. no. I said you. I said I have to tell you something. Mark doesn't like dogs. Okay, <laughs> it sounded worse in my no, ears. No, it wasn't. Okay, I, I don't actively seek out to hurt dogs. Uh, no I shit. Be clear. It was a joke, dude. I know. Bro. Fucking sarcasm. Because she and I love dogs so much. Right. And on that end? Yeah. Lips and assholes, sir. Oh, yeah. Can't hot live dogs? Without them. 
Speaking of dog, speaking what? of hugging your dog, did you hear that transition? That was the smoothest. It was fucking amazing. Wow, we went from hug your dog to this Hot old guy dogs. who saw you at six fifty. He's like, my wife likes my dog more, dog more than uh, more than me. <laughs> I'm like, why the fuck are you married to someone who likes your dogs more? I, I guess, I guess though, you'd want to be with someone who treats an animal like that because then you know how they treat. They'll still treat you well, even though it's less than that. Can I? Can I go now? No. No, you can't go first. Well, I mean, did you did you bring your diaper? I, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. Do, so, who said hot dog? Uh, one of the kids, Meg's nice. family unit's kids. Nice, uh, her brother's I child. Love it. I am not docs. I I swore I would not use names. That's why I'm trying. I didn't write names down on the for that purpose because I, I don't want to. Guessing. You, te- have you been to Ted's? Yeah, I have. Have you have you met Ted? Have you met Ted? I have been uh, to Ted's. Have you been to Ted's? Ted's is both in Buffalo and here, right? There's, yeah, it's yeah. In, in Tempe. In Tempe? On Broadway. And there's one in Buffalo itself. That's Buffalo. where, from where, from whence. From which. From whence, hence he came. Therefore, uh, they the make, aforementioned Ted's. They make phenomenal burgers. Mm-hmm. Onion rings are off the charts. And their hot dogs are on the char- their charcoal world. And they are just... Amaze, they're amazed good. dogs. They are, and you throw that stuff on them. Do you have a diamond dog uh, story? Twenty five dollar dog? Is that what it was? Twenty eight? What, what, I've never what had the big mammer jammer. Yeah, what, what's the, it run? It's called the big unit. <laughs> it is. Is that why Heather likes meat? I don't know because it, it could be made into the big unit. I sure. Uh, I've never had the twenty five dollar hot dog at the at the ball. Was it twenty five? Yeah, I, yeah, I've had. I get the nine dollar dog. Okay, this thing's like eighty two feet long. It's got like wrapped in bacon. Yeah. It's deep fried and flippity flop. And then you know. get a side of Lipitor with that shit. <laughs> you get three uh, blood thinning, and you get pills. some paddles. Clear. <laughs> <laughs> it's a free defibrillator with every purchase. Yes. <laughs> oh, but you got to pay for the paste, the gel. Of course, that's another nineteen dollars. Yeah, that's another fifteen bucks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how they get you. And a small diet Pepsi. <laughs> That'll be four hundred thirty-six thousand two hundred eighty-six dollars forty-eight cents, sir. Oh shit! That's oh, terrible. Man. Yeah, I just, I just, I just came for a hot dog, bro. The worst. Yeah. So hot dogs. Yeah. How, who else said that on your list? Uh, we had done. no wieners on the list. No wieners. Not one wiener. Wow. We have two wieners downstairs. Two wieners up here. And hot dog on the list. So we have five we have wieners. five wieners in the household Oh, currently. my goodness. Wow, how about that? Well, yeah, we don't have a, a mention of a wiener on any of the three questions. Well, yeah, I could see it being make somebody sick, though. I could totally see somebody like, I hate hot dogs because they're made with lips and assholes. What's funny is that uh, Steve and Felicia, whenever uh, Felicia goes out of town, first thing Steve does is buy hot dogs. And he fucking grills the shit out of them. It's great. And then I love that. I know. Me too. It's it's like tradition. So I'm like, hey man, when are we doing hot dogs? He's like, oh, I'll bring some over. And then he'll come to my house and we'll do hot dogs. Are you more like, when Felicia leaving? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm just you know he buys Felicia. like he buys like it, they come in like a twelve pack, right? Yeah. And then he's like, oh dude, I got I got four left over. You want them? I'm like, does the Pope wear a pointy hat? Fuck yeah, I'll fucking wear that shit. Explain to me this. Yeah. Wire buns and eights and I hot dogs know. are in twelves or whatever. I have now seen more. Well, I think they did it now with the economy after two thousand eight. Remember how everybody's like, "Hey, we're keeping our prices the same," but then they gave you like half an ounce less. Yeah, I feel like they went from twelve to eight or ten to eight or whatever without telling us. And and now we're at eights. Now we're kind of in eight zone. I've seen a lot of eights in ballparks and eight buns, and I think now they're like. We just made it fit. No, you tried to save some fucking money by not giving us more hot dogs. Dog food bitches. is smaller bags now. Used to be 40 pounds now. It's 35. Really? Yep. Wow. And uh, this the drink that I buy it used to be coming a six pack and now it's a five pack. What happened to value, bro? It's Well, that's the thing. Is you hit the nail on the head. The price didn't change, but the amount you get yep. did. You want to know an interesting one? I would love to. Budweiser. Budweiser. Do you know the new can design that they made? It looks like a bow tie almost. It kind of does this little in out thing. Uh, no. Okay, so they did that. Guess how many Oz's? I would say 11. In. It's like 11.2, and I did Shut the math. the fuck up. I said, I think, I think it's like for every million cases they sell, like, they get 10,000 free ones. Like, it's like, just think about it. It's an ounce, think just an ounce of beer, and it's a 30-pack. So right out of there, you're two and a half beers ounces. ahead. You're two and a half beers ahead every 30-pack. That's isn't, fucking horrible. Isn't that crazy? That's horrible. Yeah. 
two and a half beers ahead every 30 pack. Is that kind of like how McDonald's got, they went away from the Super Size Me? That was more of a I know PR that was a health thing. conscious thing. Well, it was a PR thing. It but wasn't health. They don't give a fuck about your health. They care. I, un- I understand that. It was but a they vision spun of, it. Well, yeah, it's the PR thing. But like a, when you go yeah. to a fast food place, the fries aren't so big anymore. You can only get large. You and can't say bullshit. super size. You can't say right. Yeah, they've taken the choice away. I'm okay with that because I feel children and young teens can get to McDonald's. And they could order that. And if we're talking about child obesity and things like that, I'd rather them not have that option as a 16 year old. I don't like you anymore. I want to make us, I want mega yeah. fry. Well, you're 40. Something. I'm sorry. You're only 29 for the 19th time. I know. We're 38 for the 11th. I know. Your math is amaze balls. My math is on, on point. point. Boom. Blah, 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 blah. Or I'm sorry. Yes. I said 29th for the 20th time, not 19th. I was, time. was I, I wasn't going to correct I you. I thought it was pretty math. funny. I can't do my own maths. Math. So after Baphomet, yes. Uh, what's after hot dogs, sir? What after the wieners, uh, I'm done. My, I'm I'm out on the can't give up. Although I haven't given mine, and I haven't given the other ones, but we're going to give all those at the end. Yeah. So uh, George Boy number two, mac and cheese. Nice. That's uh, good. Yeah. Craft. He didn't say, but that's that would be my guess. You know, Arby's used to make. Did I? Yes, say you that? told. Yes, I told, I, I'm letting dry, that one go. Oh, yep. can I? Just, they used to make it, and it was delicious. I don't think anybody bought it, and they stopped making it. But it was exactly like you would at home. Like no joke. I haven't had that in 20 years. I had it uh, three days ago. I love you. It's delicious. We're getting you, back together. Would you like to? Uh, I'll go to the bathroom. You can get a scoop a little out later. Yeah. All right. Sounds great. That's disgusting. Uh, we we that. for the first time ever, sir. We have a Georgia boy wife reporting in. Did it, did it, did it, this just in. Georgia boy, Georgia boy, one of the Georgia boys is married. Well, they're all, all well, the Georgia two, boys. Two, two are married. Two uh, of the three Georgia boys are and, married. And Georgia boy number two, yes. his wife's name is Megan. No. Yes. Well, she can't be Megzy because there's only one Megzy. No, her on name podcast. is Megan. Calm the fuck down. Okay. Her food she never give up is also pickles. Two Tambian pickles? Two also that pickles. That is the third pickle. <laughs> we're in quite a pickle sir um women who like meat and pickles we know uh okay we know i haven't seen cucumber on there yet but there's yeah there's the pickles close enough not a lot of cucumbers well, on pick, the list sir. Pick, pickle cucumber yeah, i understand I mean, your re- yeah. your reference you know you and, sick bastard and meat Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, you want me to keep going? Yes, Megan. Hello, Megan. Welcome. Megan Hold said, pickles. Megan, welcome to the welcome podcast. To the show. Yes, welcome to the show. Um, dill, kosher. She did not state. Whole, spear. All of the above. She I, loves all pickles, bro. I love specificity, She's an equal bro. opportunity butter, picklist. Bread and butter ones, even the sweeter ones. Those are the ones I could probably put to the wayside. Okay. Because they're a little, I like the, if I were to go pickle... If I, don't you, want, I don't want to blow my you, load. Would you ever go full pickle? Oh, I go full frontal <laughs> pickle. Full frontal pickle. Full prickle. Full, full prickle. Nice. Nice. That was beautiful. Um, dill, all the way. Kosher. Has to be blessed by some GD rabbi. I need a rabbi on, on board. Okay. Because I, I need it. I need to have the kosher dill. <laughs> this is the best kosher dill in the world. Space ball to flamethrower. The kids love it. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got? Merchandising. Merchandising. Uh, Georgia Merchandising. boy number three with peanut butter. That's a great one too. I never really thought about that. Which when he said that, it made me think of Reese's peanut butter cups. So I was like, oh my God, should I change my answer? <laughs> but you, what if chocolate went away? Right. So you're like. It doesn't do you any good. But if. If he said Reese's peanut butter cup, I'd actually, I'd admire him for that. Because it's a two for one. Thing. It's a food and it's a two for. It's a two for, yeah. It is, it is but both. he just said peanut butter. This because you could put it on chocolate, you could put it in a sandwich, yes. you can put it on whatever. But what if you don't have jelly? Well, maybe you're okay not without it. I don't know. The truth is, I don't think he's ready for that jelly. I knew you were going to hear Did you know I was going to do that? Yes. Don't say you know that stuff. I knew it. it lands, the joke lands better when you don't say that you if know it's going to If I laugh, then I would have. I don't need you to laugh. We just need dead silence because the podcast community is laughing right now. Okay. Probably at, not with, but, yeah, uh, but still. There's a chuckle. Don't make me get the stick Look, of fury. Dad jokes can be chuckle worthy. Banana phone. <laughs> That's <laughs> that is fine. We were talking about more jokes. We'll have to do a podcast on that again. Sure. But uh, all right. So peanut butter is a very versatile food. Yeah. But I would have gone peanut butter cup because then you can bifurcate 
the chocolate from the peanut butter, and yes. now you've got myriad uses. Is bifurcation a word? Yes. Okay. Bifurcate means to split apart. Yeah, I knew that, but I didn't know bifurcation was the correct. I just said bifurcate, didn't you I? You said bifurcate. But it's, right. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if bifurcation is the noun of bifurcate. That's the question. Okay. Let's move um, along. Yes. Fantastic. Because it's a verb and a noun. I don't know. To talk to Stephen Pinker. He knows about language. Uh, I don't know who that is. Stephen Pinker, conversation with Tyler on YouTube, my friend. Oh, oh, oh okay. We are actually going to have a Stephen Tyler Pinker. Tyler Durgan? His name <laughs> is, Ron, is Ronald Paulson. <laughs> or her name is David Paul, Ronald I, who Paulson. Who cares? What was Meatloaf's name? <gasps> Meatloaf! <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Mom! Mom! Meatloaf! Mom! Meatloaf! Oh, shit. Um, I don't know. And he's going to funerals. He's killing it. <laughs> yeah, I'm a funeral crasher now, man. <laughs> Fucking Will Farrell. Okay, you ready? <laughs> yes, sir. And my buddy Brian with the chicken wings. Boneless or bone in? Bone in. He is a traditionalist. He bet. Bone, boneless chicken wings, to your point. A, it's not don't a wing. exist. It's a chicken strip or a nugget. A, don't exist, and B, are disgusting when you're comparing it to any kind of bone in anything because the bone adds so much flavor. They have, yes, yes. It just I, does. I would agree. Yes. There's a there's a flavor component that, that bone in steaks, meats, and what any meat, any protein, bone in protein, something in the marrow or something in the bone itself helps flavor the, yeah. the, the surrounding flesh. Yeah. But I like it. Yeah. Does he have a flavor he likes? He mentioned scorpion something. Is that like a Buffalo Wild Wing flavor? I don't think so. I've never heard of a scorpion scorp- death. Like what the- I don't know. That sounds shot. That I sounds like man- mango habanero. I know is a is a Buffalo Wild Wing is one of my favorites. Uh, you can eat that. Yeah, it's th- it's three from the top, so it's hot, uh, but it's you- not like burn your butthole hot. Um. Yeah. I, um. Yes. I went there and and, and I uh, I I tried spicy stuff and I, I tried that. Yeah, it, it didn't like me very much. Okay, because my head went. You were sweating. I even remember what, it was what, what the, flavor was it? It was at the B Dubs. Yeah, and it was at the corner of University and is it Rural? The Northeast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Northeast yeah, yeah, corner, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, where yeah. the where the comedy at. club. Yeah, where the improvs at and everything. Yeah. Bull shooters and all that. Um, beat ups. And I got the mango habanero. At that time, I don't think it was the third from the, it was like the second or it's just introduced. It was some weird thing. Just can't. And I'm like, look, I'm gonna try it. Yeah. And I failed miserably. And I just sweated. And I thought, like, I don't have the palate. I'm a German. All we do is goulashes and stews and like Salt and pepper we barely use, you know what I mean? Like, we eat meat and potatoes. Literally, that is it. Like, if you ask a German their favorite, meat and potatoes. <laughs> Let's ask Deutschmark. Maybe Deutschmark knows. Deutschmark. I like the meat and the potatoes. But don't you like strudel? I like the strudel, but the strudel is not meat nor potatoes. You need to master the voice of Christoph Waltz from Inglorious Bastards. This is my horse Fritz. Okay, I'll try. When he does he's the, got a good... when he's eating the, the strudel oh, in yes. the restaurant with the blonde girl. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He... Christoph, we've talked about And he's about speaking Christoph. French. Uh, of our list, I, w- I went back. I didn't listen to that one yet because we haven't released it, right? We only listen to it when it's released. Did that, we release that one already? I don't know. I don't think we did. Villains? I don't think we did. I'll have to look. Okay. I'll ch- I don't know, Let's dude. check the tape. Uh, but but <laughs> as it is, uh, I, I we we do not listen to our podcast until we actually play it to our au- the date. audience. Yeah. Yeah, till the release date. I, listen I to refuse. It, yeah, I, I do it on iTunes. I'll cut the beginning off and the end, but- Nothing in between. Chris and I will listen to a new episode when they're released on just Tuesdays and Fridays. Like everyone else. And we will text each other like, dude, you're funny Did as you shit. just say that? <laughs> what the fuck? When did you say that? And I'm like, I did? <laughs> I know. know. Like, and I'm, like, I'm not at that part yet, bro. Yeah. Hang on. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Yeah, it depends on which side of the bed we wake up. Like, like bro, I'm on a work call. Start. Fucking give me a break. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And all, all of a sudden, you're sitting there like, <laughs> it's like, yeah. And then you said this, and then you said that. It's just funny. But anyway. Um, Christoph Waltz, I would argue greatest villain of all times. It's, all time, I, I, I would he disagree. Is with so that. good, yeah. In the years past, and he like came. I know he came from somewhere, but to Americans, he definitely came from nowhere. He right, came, he right. came out of obscurity. How Quentin Tarantino, where he found him, just uh, kudos, man. Germany, I'm sure he did. I mean, he revitalized. <laughs> Might have been Austria. Be careful. Oh sir. yes. Be careful. The border. I told you the German Austrian joke. You did not the joke. Yeah, I'm not gonna. We're not gonna, it's not a joke. It's disgusting. Actually. So after chicken wings, wings, my cousin Jose Luis said most anything Italian. 
<laughs> is it anything most Italian or no, most little, anything quote, Italian? Unquote, most anything Italian. So pasta, pasta. which covers the breads. Sp- pa- what, is it? what do you say? Pasta. Oh, Something macaroni and gravy. Macaroni and gravy. Yeah, I almost brother. said pasta and gravy. No, macaroni and gravy over there. Watermark. He's over from Philadelphia, and he's like, yo, I like some uh, macaroni and gravy. Yeah. And they're like, what do you want on that? I'm like, I just said gravy. Yeah, I, I can't. I I mean, I do. That's a little broad, though. It is, but man, lasagna. lasagna Jinx and diet Dr. It. Pepper. You and I need to. All of is us. Is it 28 years? Is that what it is? <laughs> is it quantum entanglement? It's got to be quantum entanglement. I can't think of it being anything else. The only thing I don't like is Marsala because of the goddamn fungus. Yeah. But everything else, dude, I mean, come on. Anything with a anything with a sauce. And some of the caper stuff. It's heavy caper. I'm Fuck capers. Right, but you see it on some stuff. And sometimes it adds flavor like to lemon. Like there's like a lemon picante or something like as yes. a, like a lemon yes. sauce yes or yes yes milanese milanese is pretty good yes uh, those are delicious but yeah. anything italian but see the thing is though are you, you want to go to olive garden yeah let's do it okay fuck no <laughs> like why the fuck would why would i want noodles and ketchup if it's not lunch for the soup and salad unless uh, yeah. unlimited soup and salad i'll do that all day with you but i won't do have you do avanti i have that place is great dude Talk about a time warp. Yeah. That is like going know, back like into 1982. Yeah, it's like the 70s. Velvet walls. Yeah. It reminds me of Goodfellas. Yeah. When Lorena Bracco, they move into that new place and they get all the decorations with the gold, like framed mirror stuff and the velvet. Yep. Yep. The velvets. That remind. it's such a time warp and it's delicious. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Maybe we'll do it for been years. years, dude. Maybe, maybe they have a New Year's thing because we're doing oh, New yeah, Year's yeah. together. Dude, let me check. Let, the last we'll time I something. was there, it was somebody's birthday, and I go, um, yeah, put the put the meat and cheese appetizer platter on my tab. Like I was trying to be nice because I love, you know, meat and cheese with the crackers and all that shit. So Fuck you the ordered olives. it? I got it for the table. Okay, nice. I get my check. It's four hundred thirty two dollars. The goddamn appetizer was forty nine dollars. Holy fuck. I was like, God damn. Was it worth it? Eh. If I ate the whole thing myself, yes. Okay. I mean, was it forty nine dollars of quality? Is what I'm saying. Did it bring your table together? Did it? Did you all share? Like, did I don't good like vibes? This, I don't like this line of questioning. Well, because money, money's just one side of the of the equation, my friend. Happiness. I guess I was just. I didn't. It's my own fault for not looking at the price, and I I didn't expect any appetizer to be that much. Yeah. I would say twenty five, twenty seven. You know what I mean? Like God. Dear Lord. Two types of appetizers about what, which you need to worry. Any kind of meat and cheese, because you never know the specialty of the cheese and the specialty of the meat. Some, like, right. Like uh, you've got uh, even just a plain prosciutto is 20 bucks a pound. Yeah. So it's still like two bucks an ounce. So like four ounces is like 10 bucks right there, 15 bucks. You know what I'm saying? Like, And that's our cost, obviously. It's not like we're purveyors, but. And then they're going to mark it up. Right. And then they mark 50%. it up. 50%. Right. At least. And then, so you think about that, you think about the specialty cheeses. And then on top of that, the other one is seafood. Any kind of seafood thing, like if it's crab leg or something, or like the seafood plate. What was, wasn't there an $80 Ocean yeah. 44, it's 85 amazing. Bucks? Have you seen it? Yes. Yeah. It's, it's like a, a tower. It's a, correct. It's, it it's is, called the seafood tower. It is gorgeous. But it is a, it is a cost. So I totally understand that. But if there's four of you and you get the seafood tower, that's a twenty dollar appetizer. That's correct. That's way Better. more reasonable right. than a goddamn. Th- but I get- and there's four of you that would be twelve bucks. That's not so bad. Yeah, yeah, it's my own fault. No, not fault. Hey, man. it's called I'm a learning. Sorry, lesson. I brought it up. Don't don't be sorry, man. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, though. <laughs> no more questions. Should I or should was Heather there? No. Okay, because I'd ask how the meat was. <laughs> <laughs> call back that's the way we do it ladies and gentlemen all right who, who else we got we only have a few left i hope we right? do correct oh, uh so N- wayne said uh super senior executive producer mary's husband wayne said non oh yeah non bread n a a n yeah what is that it's kind of like a pita bread if you think about what you know fry, it's like a mix between pita bread and fry bread i know but non. both of those are yeah it's a soft like soft pillowy kind of round. Yeah, naan is basically pita. It's like it, it, it's like Indian pita. It's to sop up stuff. They do naan on like gyros. Could be yan, naan. Okay, like, okay. Yeah, it's very similar to that kind of gyro pita. Okay, kind of, but it's yeah. not. 
Okay, I got you. No, go ahead. It's not the one that is, like, if you cut it in half, it opens up into a pita sandwich? No, that's a pita, no. You okay. can peel out this stuff, I'm okay, sure. Okay, but, but it's flat. It doesn't open up. Correct. It more okay. folds over. Okay. Or you, or so, you keep right. it and tear it. So, what, where, what's This that? is what it looks like. Like it's shawarma. Gorgeous. Yeah. When I go to the shawarma place yeah, yeah. with my friend, that's what they serve with it. Okay. That's correct. Okay. Non, is, non and shawarma would like be with right. the, Correct. Like with the hummus and the, the rice right. and the weird yep. shit. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's it's, it's great. flour, yeah, yeah. water, and heat. I mean, and that's really and all it's good. Is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and and salt. A, I mean, think about it. Like, think about how good a pizza base that would even make. Oh, That'd be yeah. pretty good. I, those That would be a good lunch yeah. when I was eight. You know, we made we made this thing called lavash. Do you remember lavash? I have. It's like I've, a crackle bread. It's almost like yeah. a thin crackly blister. It basically is so thin it, it blisters. And we would la- we would lie um, we'd lay uh, dill uh, dill Havarti across it, and then make a cheese crisp. Shut up. Let me tell you, sir. That is the appetizer. We should just do an appetizer one, but it's considering we're talking about appetizers all of a sudden. The appetizer of appetizers. It's cheese crisp, the dill flavor with the Havarti, and that. Oh, the. Cr- oh. Okay, we got to go. I'm hungry, man. Can we just call it? You want the rest of my apple? <laughs> no, I'm good, man. I have two slices left, I'm bro. good, man. I'm good. I'm on a diet. <laughs> it's like an eight-year-old was here. I don't care what color. <laughs> <laughs> Peanut butter jelly. And, fucking- and don't forget apple slices, ladies Have gentlemen. you ever had a... Uh- Uncrustable? I've never had it, but I've seen them. Are they worthy? No. They're just a peanut butter and jelly sandwich that you put it's in the... It's crimped. It's crimped, but there's no crust. It's called an Uncrustable. Thank right. you, Peralta, you idiot. Thanks, so that's where the, Hence the crimping. Yeah. So I I had never had one until maybe two years ago, and then I saw, that at, I saw it at Costco or Sam's Club, so I bought a box for t- $9 for 15 right? So I take them on the golf course because it's four hours, four and a half hours, so instead of taking an apple or whatever, I took an Uncrustable. And then... Just the name sounds not appetizing. But it's un- peanut butter and jelly I and know, bread. Like, right? Uncrustable? It just sounds disgusting. <laughs> sure. Who ad geniuses who came up with that one? The guys that did the Hot Pockets did this too. Hot Pockets. Congratulations, you win. Uncrustables. <laughs> so the point of the story is... I'm Sir, on- there's no point to the podcast. Why would there's there be a, a point to the story? <sighs> I'm on the golf course and Steve and Felicia are there and I get out my Uncrustable and I start eating it. And Felicia goes, what are you, five? <laughs> I'm like, what? I like these. Shut up. <laughs> Did you actually like them? Yes. Oh. And do then you, Do you buy them regularly now? Yeah. So, but I had only tried the grape one, right? So then as a joke, Steve and Felicia came over and then they leave and he's like, hey man, he look in your freezer. And while I wasn't looking, they snuck in a little, a four pack box in my freezer of strawberry and pe- which I haven't tried the strawberry one yet, Very which I would cool. wa- have been wanting to try. You have the best like adoptive parents. Ever. I know. Well, first they make fun of me. What are you five? It was funny. As well, shit. first they have to parent you. Yes. And then they have to treat. You. And then, <laughs> and then they buy me uncrustables. First they have to break you down with emotional distress. Uh, you might want to mute that mic before you start zhuzhing. Yeah. Me. There's a, Here, yeah. Go, go mute it. Mute it before you zhuzh. Oh boy! There's mocos on the mic, sir. Yeah, so so mute it. I got it. It's no fine. You've got to zhuzh it a little bit. Okay. That's what. That's what. That I know. Like. Oh my god. Okay. Anyway, can really we move did. along now? Yeah. After non, we, finally, super senior executive producer Mary said guacamole without cilantro. I'd go guacamole without avocado. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not an avocado fan, I'll admit. You're an asshole. You know, if there was a dog named Avocado, yeah, I probably wouldn't like it that much. Just saying. Uh, I played the fifth. So why is she is she a dish soap cilantro person? Ten percent? She yeah. one of the ten percenters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So do, does everyone know about this? You're familiar with this, right? This phenomenon? I of course I am. Okay. So to to the people out there who don't know and aren't from the Southwest. Cilantro is a really interesting herb, right? It's an herb. What is yeah, it? yeah, it comes in a bunch. It looks just like... Yeah, it looks like parsley It looks just like parsley. parsley-ish. That's correct. It has a spicy note to it, generally. Very subtly, yes. However, to approximately 10% of humans, it tastes like dish soap. Thank God I'm not in that, dude. I would have freaked the fuck out. I swear that I'm right on the other side of that. Like... You're 11%? I'm I'm right at right before dish soap. Like it all there's a little funkiness to it, but I I really love cilantro. It adds 
I mean, that's a key, I mean, I learned to make salsa and guacamole from my dad and I've, I've won many competitions. Not, I don't want to be egotistical. Many. That is absolute truth. I don't I have, have, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't say that to brag. No, I'm, just, I, I'm saying you're that. You're telling be, the truth. How many, how many did you enter at the, at the DAC Ravnada? Ravnada uh, place? Six, 10 times? Five. And you won like six, you won like four times. Five didn't you? times probably. Five, yeah. yeah. You're, you're awesome. I will attest to your amazingness. Megzi and I have come to your house just four. Yeah, and the last time you guys came over, it didn't turn out, and I feel really oh, bad about oh, that. Oh, we're, we're so upset, because even bad sex is good sex, sir. Are we talking about salsa? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean salsa. Bad salsa is good <laughs> You did. Good I made some salsa. this morning, and uh, it was fucking great. And I really feel bad about the when you guys came over. Well, now you're an asshole. Yeah. Because now you're rubbed in how great today was yeah. and how shitty you gave it to us. You could have just told us that you made it the same and we would have totally be- believed you because it was delicious. I didn't think so. And I, so uh, because well, you're picky. You, you don't you never know how the tomatoes are going to be. Anyway, so cilantro know. the point is cilantro is a is a main ingredient in Sonoran tight with Sonoran south of southern California is in Mexico. So that that adds so much to it's a depth. salsa pico yeah. de gallo. I, I added to guacamole some a lot of people don't but that's how my dad did it so that's i like it because that reminds me of the the flavors i think are very authentic what i love about it in the beginning is when people because it does look like parsley they treat it like parsley don't do that so they treat it so they just load a shit and they take that bite and they're like And I've, I hope that didn't sound like absolute was, asshole. That sounded like a pterodactyl. And I've had p- p- somebody. A pterodactyl. I think it may have been Steve. He, he go, hey, hey, dude, you need anything from the store? I'm coming over. Yeah, uh, I need two bunches of cilantro. Okay, dude, don't get parsley. Yeah, no, I know. Motherfucker came up with parsley. It, 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 <laughs> the- <laughs> they look very similar. And you have to look at the label. If you don't know. If you, if you don't know, bro, there's bro, a label though. That's you the point. have to look at the label. Your sir, yes, your faja the fa- is educated. No, I I know. I didn't do that. I think Steve did that. Somebody. That's my point. Your faja, Steve. Oh yes, your Sorry. adopted I father, I Caesar. No, yeah, <laughs> like, we're talking about Steve and Felicia. Yeah, 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 we're talking yeah. about your your crappy my adopted, adopted father. parents. Yeah, yes, Steve. There's a there's writing on it. Yeah, and the C and, and a P. And you don't the, even need to get past the first letter. True. And the smell is definitely cilantro smells I, very different from no, parsley. Just, we'll just go look and and they had COVID and they can't smell anymore. Sure, let's just go. Let's go through through that because like twenty years ago. Sure, no, I'm just saying it's twenty twenty. Okay, now, let's just so move along. We, we lost our sense of smell. Okay, all you have to do and look at the front for a P or a C. Yes. <laughs> do you want to tell me what you <laughs> P and a C? Those are the two funniest letters because like a C is like, and a P is like. <laughs> <laughs> We definitely need video for that horrible need, disaster. I think we're going to get. I think. I think okay. Do you want to? I think we're going to have four votes, and it's going to go three to one. Oh God! After four weeks. Okay, so would you like to tell me what food you would never give up? Check mark. Well, yes, I would like to tell you what food I would never give up. Go. But that would be giving it away. I Are thought we, we going to do all ours at the end. Okay. Now we're going to do everyone else. Okay. Then we're going to have crack research staff. The person from Canada, yeah, Ms. Garcia, okay. and yourself and so, I. So, are we moving on to the next category? Correct. Next what, category. Never. What foods we would never eat? Never eat. Let's do it. Good thing we're one category, one fifteen in. I never eat. That wasn't supposed to happen. That wasn't supposed to happen. God damn it, dude! <laughs> Fuck you. Do you want me to start? Please. Abel. Blat. B a l a t. One, one food he would never eat, balat. Balat. I don't even know A Southeast Asia thing. Okay. Thanks. I, I don't have time. We don't have the bandwidth. To look this <laughs> up. <laughs> Our producer is not in the studio tonight. Yeah, we're super senior produ- executive producer, Mary. B-L- B-A-L-A-T. Okay, balat. Let's take a look. Let's see. Oh, it's both a place and shitty food. Okay. Allegedly, there's not a thing. So I don't know. Okay, move along. Uh, move along. Move along. Uh, I'm going to go with, uh, we're going to never eat. Yes. Rocky. No, that's not the one. Bone marrow. Oh, you had it? I have now, but I didn't want to until I had it. And then I still def- didn't want to. So you don't like it? It tastes like. Does it taste like bone marrow? 
It tastes like rancid fat, like fat that went bad. Then why do people like it? Uh, it has a flavor, and they put it on their bread. I don't. It's weird. My oh, mom loves you put it. Put it on your bread. My mom loves it. Megzi tried it, and we were both like, "This tastes like it's like it tastes rancid. It's like it went bad." I can't explain it. It's just a flavor palette that I can't do. That's very and that's the only one I got. No one else had anything that they didn't want to try. All right. Everyone's pretty pretty open minded on our end. Oh, one, I do have one more, but that's ours at the end. Okay. Megzi and I have one shared. Okay. Hey now. Hey now. He's sick bastard. Yes, yeah, sir. Next up, Lisa Abel's wife said lootfish. Lootfisk. Yeah. Is that disgusting? Swedish? I think it's like a pickled. Yeah, fish. it's yeah. it's very common though in in the Scandinavian world. Yes. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. It's yep. it's pickled fish, correct? Yes, that is correct. Is that is it common there because the weather's bad and they have to like? I think pickling uh, saved a lot of it, and it's, it's a flavor profile too. It's like why they like smoked it, foods. Is it real they salty? Last longer. Is that? It's very like, it's very like vinegary. It's just oh, not. It's vine- pickly. Okay. Versus like a smoked, like a white fish or a salmon where it has a flaky, smoky flavor. Okay. This is more of a pickly flavor, like a like a tart, like a yeah. I, I'm, I like I'm with her. Loot fish. Fuck it. Okay. Next. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll look it up while we no, while don't, we do this. No, don't. I don't. Just. Oh my god. Don't. Just no. Keep going. We'll, we'll be Next right. up is Rear Admiral Gibson, uh, or whatever. No. His new oh come on, man. Backdoor back Commodore. Door what did Commodore. he say? <laughs> did I get it right? Yeah. Backdoor. I Commodore. didn't know if I got it right. He said he would never eat octopus. I I can see that. But he has he ever had calamari? Uh, I I didn't ask him that. We talked for two hours and did not ask him <laughs> if he's ever had fucking calamari. You know why? Because he has, catching up to do, bro. He, he, he did at the Olive Garden, but he said it tasted like chicken. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> I thank the Lord for the night time. That's what it looks like. Shit. Just basically, look. It looks like white shit. Sir, it's in a bowl. That's just How does that fish? It looks I like know. a bowl. It's like, it looks, it looks like weird awful. applesauce. I feel bad for whoever... I, I mean, feel bad for the Scandinavian All of the Scandinavian, like Norway and Sweden and sure. Denmark. Well, except for all their egalitarian rules. And their Vikings. Oh, and yeah, well, they're pretty cool. And obviously Gothenburg with the Swedish death metal. How many Vikings are left? I'm like, seven. Well, there's yeah. 53 in Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> they wear purple. <laughs> I'm not going to correct practice, you just because that was the best joke I've ever heard. And the practice squad. Because that was the best joke. Well, plus the executive staff. We don't know how large they are. Well, they're, are they Mar- really Vikings if they're not on the team? Bro, Bro. fans say we. We. Bro. We won. We're going to win. We're going to beat you. What's my favorite? We're going to beat you. Hashtag tribalism. Stupid. Next. Next up is Heather with C. Urchin. It'd be great if she said meat. It would have been funny, huh? Or like So she can't give up meat, but she won't eat sea urchin. I could totally see that. My funny, I think it would have been better if she said seafood. (laughs) (laughs) What's the the thing you can't live without? Meat. What's the thing you can never eat? Seafood. Seafood. (laughs) Yeah, It's like, what are you, surf and turf over here? That's beautiful. (laughs) Uh, Next up is Roberto. He would never never eat haggis. Haggis. That's definitely. Would you ever eat haggis? I can't say that I would, but it it definitely crossed my mind. But I don't know if I would try maybe just a little piece or a little bit of the inside. What's inside? I know it's the sheep's stomach lining is the outside. What's in the inside? I think they actually feed the sheep. It goes in the stomach and then they kill it. Uh, I honestly feel like it's almost like eaten by the sheep, but I don't know the process. I don't know how sausage is made, bro. We don't want to know how sausage is made. Those are two different conversations. Correct. I don't think haggis and sausage are the same thing. They are not. I, dude, let's just move on. Keep going. Man. I'll, I'll, I I'll, don't I'll, want to I'll, know I'll, what's... Next, man. Who else you got? Who else you got? Just go. <sighs> Mrs. Felicia's mom... Felicia's mom... Said... Has got it going on. She's all I want. And I waited for so long. Felicia's mom, can't you see? You're not the girl from me. Yay! Oh, sorry. She said fish that was still alive. <laughs> like mm, she was in Japan. Ooh, Ken's coming to kill me. Other, she was in Japan and other people at her, the restaurant were eating fish that was still moving. Like, sl- and so she uh, w- said, no, I, I don't, I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't, I can't do it, bro. 
Uh-huh. Next up, Mr. Miller with Rocky Mountain Oysters. So w- would you try Rocky Mountain Oysters? That's the other one. So Megzi, funny thing, she's had them. She said they're fine. Well, they're just deep fried, right? She said they're tender. They taste like chicken. And I'm like, it's a bull's balls. Though, it Megan. is bull testicles. Megzi, it's a bull's balls. I don't, I don't know. I'm good. I wouldn't eat it, but I can't. I try to even open. try it. I don't know. I'll be honest. Which like, one? Haggis and that one are both disgusting. Okay, to me. what's haggis? Haggis. Oh, you want to tell me? It does. It just. It doesn't. Really. What's inside it? Um, it's sheep linings filled with like meat and herbs and spices and whatever. Uh, okay, here it is. Haggis is a tasty dish made using sheep pluck, the lungs, hearts, and liver. Cooked mince afal is mixed with suet, oatmeal, and seasonings encased in sheep stomach. So it is actually stitched up. So it's kind of stuffed. Right. So it's not fed to a sheep. And no, then I was like, dude, that sounds fucked up. I, I mean, know, I would I eat it, like but it sounds fucked up. I would feel like that would be the best way to do it because, like, it's then almost it's authentic. Like, yeah, but it's almost like the, uh, it's not like you're eating the excrement. It's still in the stomach. And, I understand. And the other thing is kind of like reminds me of a little, remember the little, uh, there's like a monkey that eats coffee beans and then poops them out. Yeah, and, the, and it's two hundred dollars a pound. Right, and it's like sm- the smoothest thing ever because they pick it out of the poop. What if like eating it naturally into the stomach would make it just that much better, like a cleaner? Who's the asshole that goes? <laughs> okay, man, this is what I want to do. Okay, bro, and then they like they shoot up some heroin <laughs> and do seven lines of coke and go. Okay, dude, this. Okay, I just William, saw. I want. I want Mac uh, No, who's the guy that goes? Uh, Hey man, so I just saw this monkey eat a coffee bean, and then they pooped it out. Okay, well this is okay. Li- okay, wait, we listen. This is wait. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get the poop, wash off the coffee bean, and then we're gonna put it in the sun. Just to, you know, to, we're gonna call it roasting, but it's really just drying off, right? And then we're gonna grind it up, and then we're gonna pour water through it. And then drink it. Who's the dickhead that went through monkey shit? First off, I don't think that was the first coffee. So you 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 conflated like every coffee, and you loved every second of I it. I did. I love your <laughs> conflations. <laughs> but but, but unfor- you, I don't want to call you out. I'm just going to say I think the please tri- call me out. No, I think the bean ground with water poured over it was a step done. Okay, well before. that was in the Egyptian times. But I, I think it's when they. I think they were plucking uh, probably a mushroom out of the monkey poop, getting high off it. Oh, there's probably a psilocybin mushroom growing out of the monkey poop, and there happened to be a bean next to it. And they're like, bro, I bet this bean would taste good. And now they That's charge two hundred dollars for monkey yeah. poop coffee. I don't know the origin. I sh- we should look that up. No, we should. It's a guess. fucking dumb as shit. I'm gonna make a guess though. Someone was like, some guy walking in the woods saw it, washed it off, and like you know, how, like you just chew on a bean. Chew was like, wow, that's surprisingly smooth. I wonder if that would be good. And then they kind of furthered that step. You know what I'm saying? Like they found it in the woods. Or yeah, something. yeah, I'm just I get it. I'm just wondering if that that's how it. Because I don't think anyone would saw it out. Like, hey, let's look for beans and monkey shit. I don't think anyone actively did that i i mean i'd be hard pressed to say i don't look for beans in my own shit i hope not but they're there How, okay uh, just, they're let's not. move along they're not okay so uh we after the haggis and the live fish and mr miller's rocky mountain bull balls we have felicia with tripe yep that which was a tie with stomach Yep, I don't like tripe. I don't eat anything tripe Mexican food here. I don't eat anything tripe. Also known as tripe, tripe, which nope. is a standard Sunday morning breakfast That's for correct. the Mexicans. That's correct. Yeah, as as long as I've been in the Southwest, these are all things I'm not going to eat either. So there's so many I probably have. Maybe I'm a picky bitch. Menudo is so amazing, bro. Yeah, but fuck tripe. It's so good, dude. Mm-hmm. Oh, so Next. good. Um, we're not even no. It's so good. Okay, Ricky Martin. Oh my god! You're so live in because Loca, because I uh, because of this answer, I looked up Menudo on YouTube, and uh, uh, of course, <laughs> of course, I played a video when Ricky Martin was like nine or ten years old. I didn't realize their outfits. Is that when he was straight? Sure, oh, he was so cute. He was so their cute. outfits were the Power Rangers, dude. No shit. I they I think that I think the Power Rangers stole the idea. If you look, I swear to God, 
I will send you the video because they looked the colors and like the belt and the wristband the wristbands they're wearing. They're the fucking Power Rangers. I thought they always wore like dress shirts and shit. No, they wore a different colored jumpsuits yeah, in this I get video. It, I get it. Oh my god. I'm like, they're great. the Mexi Power Rangers. Was it the one where like Menudo on ABC? Remember no, they used to play them yes, on Saturday morning cartoons? It was before that. It was do some they, Do you think they still play Menudo on ABC? Probably. Do you think they do? I'm just a Bill. Oh, I'm all grab it all here. And I, I don't, don't think, think they do that. that or a fuck conjunction junction, what's your function? Yeah, they don't no, do that either. They probably don't do that. No. One. I love the schoolhouse rocks. Of course you do. They're the best. So after right, Felicia after not pain, eating the most amazing do, thing, Menudo. No. Wait. Mo- okay, so for the people that don't know what Menudo is, it's a common Mexican um, Tripe we- soup. weekend <laughs> delicacy that my grandmother made. It's not, it stinks when you cook it. but So basically it ha- has corn, which is also known as hominy. Comes and out on the cob regardless. Sure. And it, this <laughs> soup is red. It's because it has red hot sauce in it, and you and it has tripe or is the lining of a cow's stomach chopped into very small bite sized pieces, but it's cooked so that it falls apart when you eat it. And then you add oregano to it and a little bit of lemon juice, Mexican oregano, I was yes, correct. And Slightly usually serve with tortillas. And it's a common, they say it's a great hangover cure. I don't, that's what people say. I don't believe that part but when Man- menudo is fucking phenomenal because i was raised with it but it's it funny does that you mentioned we had haggis and tripe and yeah you're talking about the stomach lining we're like there's two of them with stomach lining involved oh we're get- there's another one coming up too bro Ugh. all right so after no, menudo I, look i agree i'm i mean it's probably the connection to the mom to your grandmom right like you smell that yeah and, and my aunts you back. my aunts used to make it when you smell it, does it is a memory just go? Oh yeah, right yeah. Back? And the when when it you know Love the, my favorite Mexican place here. Um, What's your favorite Mexican place? Rosita's here? place. Oh, Rosita's on Twenty yeah. Third uh, Street and McDowell. I think we've been there. Yeah, of course. Every I take everyone there. So um, they, when they bring the bowl out and it's just steaming, it oh, it's the fucking best, dude. Oh my god, they've got some good corn chips. You gotta tell your buddy that they make yes, them fresh there. Do. I mean, you cannot when the chips come out. You can't eat them. They're so hot. You've got to wait. They are. You have oh. to wait like two minutes before you can have a chip. You know what I like better? What's that? Flour chips. Oh, fuck you. I I don't know how, but one time ordered Mikayo's delivery and we got a bag of corn and a bag of flour. And I'm like, they were they were house made. And I'm like, when do you guys make this? I don't remember ever Mikayo's having flour. Flour chips are the hardest to find anywhere. But it's the base for quesa, quesadillas. Yes. For cheese crisp, which cheese crisp is my favorite. So why wouldn't I want that to be the, you know, the foundation just cut up into squ- into triangles? It's the best chip. And they used to have this thing called pizza, pizza bowl. It was like a pizza. It was like a pizza flavored f- flour chip. I remember those. Keebler made it. Yeah. Because the elves had it, and I forget what the pizza pizza bowls. I think they were pizza bowls or something. Whatever it was, delicious. Flour. Flour, uh, carrot not to approved. the right. No, greater than corn. Yes, not approved. No flour greater than corn. No. Yeah. Moving on. Moving. Move along. Uh, move after along. the tripe, Mr. Simpson said he would never eat dog or cat. That makes sense. No shit. But he has in Chinese food, so it's okay. Oh, delicious. Did you um, tell him that? Did you like, hey, bro? Uh, hey, hey, how many bro. dogs you ate? Yeah. Okay. Next. Uh, Mr. Aiken said insects. Yeah. I that I've had that actually. We'll talk about that. Okay, we don't have time to talk about that. Well, it's at the end. Oh, okay. Uh, Echo Lima also. Echo Lima also the Rocky Mountain oysters. Yep. What else we got? Georgia boy number one, kimchi. Oh, that's what I was gonna say when you mentioned Luke Fisk. I was thinking it's kind of like because kimchi is fermented vegetables, fermented cabbage, right? Okay, it's fermented. Is Something what? About- what? Where is that from? It's it's uh, Asian, kimchi. so it's fermented vegetables. Yes, it's fermented cabbage, I believe specifically, and that's kind of what Lukefisk is. It's kind of like almost like a fermented versus like a pickle. It's really weird. Okay, uh, Georgia boy number two said he would eat anything to survive. I'm like okay, it's because he's from Georgia. Uh, Georgia boy number two wife. Is that including Ned Beatty's dick in Deliverance? Sure. Uh, uh, Georgia boys number two's wife would never eat sushi. I can see that, but I also, it's okay. They should try it though. I agree. I think 
I feel like that's one you should try. I don't. I don't feel like that's a non-starter. I I, th- I agree with you, and I think most people don't realize that at sushi places, half of it is cooked. The, the shrimp is cooked. Correct. The crab, especially the tempura ones. Oh yeah. Well, obviously everything. Yeah, tempura is amazing. Um, crab is always cooked. There's a there's a lot of the, the items that are cooked, and then the teriyaki chicken is the best teriyaki chicken you're ever going to have. So Pretty you there's good. a lot of things that are not. Oh my god, I can't have raw fish. You know what I mean? It's like, and they have it's noodle not like and rice that. dishes a lot of times oh, too. Yeah. So udon those are noodles, cooked. right? Absolutely. They're, at least yeah. half the menu is cooked food. Absolutely, like the udon and all the other ones. Yeah, yeah. they're phenomenal. Yeah, I agree. All the soups. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting because I love sushi. Megzi and I, me too. Megzi and I love sushi. There's a place Sakura, Sakura. on Elliot next to Safeway. Wherever that one is on Safeway on Elliot and Forty Eighth Street. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Sakura. Trust me, you want to okay. go. Is it better than Hannah? Hana? Well, what's it's not better than Hana. Hana is the best in the in the valley. H A N A. Yeah. Best, best in the valley. Because it's BYOB, wine or sake or beer, which is awesome. You can bring your own alcohol. Plus their their Toro. Their tu- yeah. tuna tataki. Their yeah. Toro tataki is the best thing ever with the garlic chips and everything. But this stuff is like, we're talking eight bucks a tuna roll. It's so, so inexpensive. We got like four rolls for like 30 bucks. Wow. And it was just like, wow. Like seriously. Yeah. And the thing is, I love sushi, but I do have a little bit of a, I don't get queasy, but it kind of, I you know, burp it up a little bit. Like, oh, and it's like, it's weird because it doesn't treat me as well as I treat it, but I love, su- I can't not eat it. I cannot eat it. I can't not eat it. Even though it's, I know it's not, great for me i understand but anyway plus grade a sushis is delicious unlike taco bell is like grade d sushi taco uh, bell is grade uh, d meat bro yeah i know crazy uh next up george boy number three would never eat falafel okay that's uh, weird what is that? that's a weird one to never eat it's uh like shawarmi ish so it's meat i think it's meat with the bread thing and the and the flavors. It I think it's got that kind of Indian spice or uh, Middle Eastern. Okay. Falafel. There it is. F A. Oh, I think it's like the meatball y kind of thing. Meatball kind of thing. That's what it looks like. It might be tofu and shit, but that's what it looks oh, like. Oh. It's like that's brown not meatballs. even meat. Here here it is. Egypt. This guy's in Egypt. Port Said. There you go. Okay. But that's what it looks like. It's like, uh, yeah. there you go. Rolled yep. up balls. I think, it, is it tofu or vegetable? I don't think it's, I don't think, I don't that's think it's meat, meat, dude. I think it's like, here it is. Middle Eastern mixture of chickpeas. That's what it there is. There you go. Fresh herb spices. Yeah. That sounds chickpeas. good, dude. It does. It's like hummus. It's like, uh, it's hum- yeah. It's, you know how you have mac and cheese, fried mac and cheese balls? It's yeah. like fried mac and, it's like fried hummus I think we should try balls. those. I've never had those. Don't. When are we going to the state fair? Overrated. Okay. Mac and cheese balls are over. You want that crunchiness on the outside. It never gets right. And the inside's too gooey. It's really weird. Let me pan fry a, a, some. It's much better. Okay. I, I'm excited. I talked you into it. You totally did. You know, I do that. When when I make my Kraft macaroni and cheese, I, I put some butter in a pan and I pan fry it. Okay. I let it sit and let that crunchy, you know, the yeah. instead of bacon, and then yeah. I flip the whole thing over. Yeah, the like, it, like a crab cake, and, but different. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But the whole thing, it's crunchy and gets yeah. that, like, all oh, crust on. It's yeah. delicious. Like a, like a mac and cheese pancake. I just want to eat it all up. All right, next up, Brian said he'd try anything once. Cool. Uh, my cousin Jose said he would never eat snails escargot. Okay, I see that. Same I've thing. had that. Yeah. Uh, Wayne said he would never eat sweet meat. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's yours. Uh, hey, now. Maybe he should get together with Heather, who likes meat. Sure. Good thing he's married to Mary. No, I don't mean it. I don't mean it like that. Just, I mean, to get understanding of oh, what sweet meat. Maybe, okay. maybe Heather could expound on what sweet meat is. She might know better than we do. I think it's funny that uh, Wayne would never eat sweet meat, and Mary is married to Wayne, and she would never eat head cheese. <laughs> why, <laughs> why is he married to her? She doesn't eat head cheese? I, I got nothing, bro. I know you don't. That is all for the never eat category, sir. I like it. Okay. What was the third one that I fucked up? Uh, you said, uh, you asked a couple of people, what foods would you like to try? Right. Yeah, I got one. I just got the marrow thing, but then we tried it. So it's a, we're good. Okay. Let's go to the, the last category. Sir. The last category the before our thing, five amazing answers. Weirdest thing you, you've ever eaten. Yes. Are you up or am I up? 
No, I'm done. I don't you have, have no any. more on your list. Are you ready? Oh, weirdest thing we've ever eaten. I've got. Yeah. Okay. We're, that's the last category. Oh, weirdest right. thing this you've is ever the long eaten. List. I'm, bro. Bro, I had, a, I had a long day, man. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Go. I got it. Weirdest thing you've ever eaten. Okay. Who's up? Octopus. Boom. Whoa. Exactly what backdoor commodore would not eat. <laughs> I Sir. love how you did the naval salute. I told him about the naval. <laughs> I told him about the naval. The origin of the naval salute today. My, just so everyone in Twitter world knows, my high school uh, sophomore year history teacher, Mister Thornburg, may he rest in peace, was a very large man, very big stomach. He was great, dude. Loved the guy. So jovial and one of the greatest teacher. Didn't so, diddle you? No, he never touched me in that way, sir. He, uh, he always caught us cheating, and he never turned us in, but he would hit us with a yardstick in the, in the kidneys. He's like, boom, stop cheating. But we got we cheated all the fucking time. So, <laughs> How did you get through without like permanent damage to your kidneys? He would just hit us like back here. Yeah, yeah. like that's a kidney it wasn't, part. That... It wasn't like hard, oh, like but it, a... it was just like, like, a, like a little snap. A pop. Yeah, like, hey, stop. Hey. I see you cheating, fucker. You know, he never called us fucker. Anyway, so whenever we talked about, he taught us world history. So whenever he, we talked about, you know, the, the the British Navy, he would always do naval salute. So he would salute from his belly button. That was the naval salute. Because the naval is the is belly the button. Is the naval, is so, Navy. Yeah, so they go. go with the Dude, phonetic ditch. of it. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying. That's I'm, I'm mansplaining it to the people out there. Mansplaining. How uh, dare I? Next up on the list, Abel also said octopus. Oh, my God. It's like samesies. Oh, my God. Synchronicities. The second one I found interesting. Yes, venison. Nice. I, I like venison though. I've, it's not strange to me, but I it does have a ferret. It's more of a bloody or it's more taste. gamey, right? It's definitely gamey ish, but it's more blood. Like I don't know if it's a bloody flavor, a little more iron. I don't know what it is, but oh. or maybe a little more brackish, a little saltier. Okay, but it's definitely a different texture. Okay, but when you sous vide anything. Or smoke it right, it's gonna be delicious. I don't yeah, because meat, say. bro. Look, Heather Heather had the answer of answers. Oh, meat. Meat. Meat and bread. Meat. Meat and bread. If you could just have two things. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> then you can have hamburger. You can have anything you want. You can I can make a hat. I can make a brooch. <laughs> Pterodactyl. <laughs> Pterodactyl. All right, what you got, man? Uh Lisa said Lisa. the weirdest thing she ever ate, chocolate donut dipped in ranch dressing. That sounds disgusting. That's weird, bro. Why? Ranch dressing? Why? I don't... It's not even salt or sour that to contrast the sweet. I don't get it. Ranch... What is... Isn't ranch like savory? Savory and sweet doesn't really work. I don't know, dude. I don't... I mean, yeah, I love is, those two things, right? Right. But that but would explain I don't know. why... That explain why it's the weirdest thing. Yeah, I don't know why that would be served together. No. Because it's wrong. I mean, look, I even get donut... I even understand donut for buns for burger because a burger has saltiness. Yeah. Like a, you know what I mean? The you Krispy Kreme with, the, with burger, bacon, I know. Right. Yeah, especially I get a bacon it. cheeseburger has extra salt. Yeah, and then you throw that with the sweet of yeah. a of like a glazed, just a too glazed, like, too tamian glazed, too glazed tambourines <laughs> in my bunghole. What? I don't know. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. Well, they're 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 glazed. Oh, they slide in. Oh, he's <laughs> dear God. Uh, yeah, what are your thoughts on that, man? It just doesn't I would sound not, right. Yeah. No, I would not. Individually, on salad, ranch dressing yeah, all day. Yeah, or dip french fries in them. Yeah. Some I'll people dip def- pizza in oh, ranch. Oh, you can do pizza in ranch. You I can do pizza. I see that. Yeah. I've, I've done it. As yeah, a, I've just, tried it. Yeah. I've tried it, and I've been averted from it. But chocolate-covered donut hole? I wouldn't put- donut. I, a donut. Donut. I wouldn't put any donut in ranch. No. I, I think a donut is good on its own. Right. And I feel like there's other things in which you could dip if you really wanted to. Like the beignets we had, they, they they came with the chocolate sauce, which was fucking phenomenal. The ganache. It was almost like a ganache. <sighs> it was yeah. so good. I took those home. It, I p- swore myself I'd only eat one a day. How'd that work out? It. I got out a whole week out of it. Stop I got a whole week. That's there were awesome. seven beignets left. Wow. And I got the chocolate and I smeared it on there with, and yeah, go ahead. Please talk about Dude, the chocolate. Dude, that's amazing. It was so good. <laughs> At Ocean Four, we're over talking Ocean Four. Okay, we anyway, better get sponsorship. Next man. up uh, is Rear Admiral Back no, Door Corridor. About when you had the beignet, you were talking. <gasps> did you say Back Door Corridor? I did. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, Mr. Gibson, Come the weirdest Gibson. thing he ever ate was earthworms in U.S. Air Force Survival School. Oh, that's got to be. Is that one of those where they sleep deprive you? And I assume so. They, everything. You, well, they put they just dug you out stress. in the woods, right? Like, yeah. like if your plane crashed, you got to survive out here, right? So wow. you just you you have the gear that's on you when you're in the plane, right? Is that the is it weird that that's the worst thing he found from that survival? Possibly yes. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I do. I can imagine like not finding anything, and you see like excrement. For example, <laughs> you just need to what fill your you stomach found, to function. What like, if you found a coffee bean in monkey shit? You were the one from survival school. <laughs> oh came my from God. Air Force He's survival the school. one. Now he's a gozillionaire because he makes monkey shit coffee. That, that backdoor Commodore has got it all made. <laughs> That's a phenomenal name. I love. Uh, it. We're gonna overuse that. I, know, I don't give but a it's fuck. Phenomenal. It's great. Um, yeah. What are you? Yeah. I can't believe that's the worst thing he encountered. Somebody in asked me, did he eat them raw? And I go, I don't fucking know. Maybe he had. A, maybe he stir fried that shit. Stir- fucking earthworm yeah, he, he tacos. Pull, he pulled out his wok from his survival. Uh, bro, I don't know. Was it seasoned wok or was it not ready yet? I, I got nothing. Okay. Bugs inadvertently. <laughs> That's the next one. Sorry, I'm t- I just jumped. I jumped the gun. Good job. Bugs inadvertently. Nice. I pulled a Christopher. Christopher is the one who keeps, next, let's go. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> Keep it all structured. I'm like, free as a bird. <laughs> no, <laughs> let's fucking talk about more nonsensical things that don't mean anything. Nonsensical. And you're like, back to task. So now, uh, bugs inadvertently in the teeth. I don't know what Ride kind of bug bike. that is. Like teeth, like I understand, something. Dude. Whatever bug. Like, you know. Is that like a cockroach? No, it wouldn't be that. It would be like a mosquito or gnat or something. Oh, okay. Because obviously, I don't know how you could, well, how do you inadvertently eat a cockroach? Just crawl in your mouth while you're like, when you're sleeping? I, that's disgusting. It's bro. Bad. Or it was in something. Yeah. yeah. Like a taco, like a Taco Bell taco. Oh, God. We can't go. Now I can never go there, dude. Well, I'm not going to go after When's, November 5th. Uh, yeah. How many more times are you guys going to go to get the pizza? I think we're just going to go on the last day. You're not going to go like one. six more times between now and then? I, I don't want to. No, because it's it's not like I can't live without it. It's just really good. I just love the Mexican pizza that they're going to ruin. Maybe the 259 followers that I have and the... And Megzins. And and how many you have? 13, 14? 17, yeah. bro. 17, bro. Bro. High five. I just hit the stick of rage with stick my hand. Stick of fury. Ooh, stick of fury. I like That's stick of way. rage better, though. <laughs> stick of fury. Stick good. of rage. Stick of fury. It's a rage stick. Uh, oh, no. Stick uh, of fury. Seven. Congratulations, sir. Thanks. And you're up to, like... Thousand over a thousand Facebook friends, correct? Twenty four hundred. You're over two thousand. Yes, sir. That's beautiful, man. Right Congratulations. It's not doing any fucking good, but you're yes. putting yourself. I don't. I think it actually is. You'd okay. be surprised. The one person who is going to listen to this and be like, "Oh, cool." Okay. I hope you're right. That's hey, we've gotten so far doing it. Yes. And you know what? We've met some really trying. awesome people along the way. Yeah, of course. And I love it. Yeah, we, hey, yeah. look, if we don't put in the effort, we definitely won't get the result, my this friend. This is also true. So, inadvertent bugs. Yes. Uh, the weirdest thing Heather ever ate? Heather. Meat. Pickled Who's pig's meat? feet. Whose meat was the weirdest thing Heather oh, ever dear ate? Lord. Pickles pig feet. Yeah, okay. That's disgusting sound. That's gross. Pickled eggs, like anything pickled. I'm not a, other than pickles. Anything pickled? I don't even, I mean, I love jalapenos, but I don't like pickled jalapenos. I could go with that because it milds the flavor a little bit. But I like them raw so much better. And they're good, and then you have that nice pop of flavor. Yeah. Yeah. But pickled, they're better on like, say, like a, you don't want to make a burger too hot. So you put pickled with pepper jack cheese or something. Yeah. I mean, instead of raw, that, would be just, just more, overkill. It's so common to have a pickled jalapeno versus raw. That's true. I mean, Look, even raw jalapenos are delicious. Uh, even like you, uh, one of my favorite pizzas is, is jalapenos and pepperoni. But, and of course, That's they're a pickled. Great call. Yeah. I know. It's fucking awesome. That is delicious. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, uh, I know. Man. What do you uh, got? Rocky Mountain Oysters. There okay. We go. Yeah, we've already covered that. It's funny Full balls, how some people, basically. that's the weirdest thing they ever ate, and some people would never eat that. It's yes. interesting, the crossover on yes. the list. And some people actually eat it, ate it, and were cool with it. Yeah. It just sat. I mean, bull test, just the testicle. I think people just have stigmas about the body of course. part. Like, you ever hear like halibut cheeks or something like that? Like halibut cheek. The, yeah, the or cheek of a cheek. fit. Yeah. It is unfreaking believable. Unbelievable. The tenderness and everything. Yeah. But you're t- it's the cheek and you're like, you think about the inside of your cheek, you're like, because you just compare, right? Right. Like, but if you're going to eat a steak, it's not any fucking different. Well, it's in the middle. It's like in here. I cut a piece out of here and be like, okay, that's kind of a chunk of flesh. But like cheek, it sounds weird. It just sounds weird. I but get it's it. It's awesome. Yeah. Beef's head, the same thing. The yeah, whole cabeza, head. Is, yeah. yeah. It's pretty good. Even yeah, head tacos, man. Disgusting. Good shit. Heat. No. <laughs> Move it. 
Pants! Pants, no! <laughs> He's going to cry himself to <laughs> sleep on his pig pillow. <laughs> it's like an orange and a toothpick, that boy. It's like Sputnik. Spherical. We've got a piper box. down! Piper down! If you want. All right. All right. What do you got? Uh, I uh, Did I do Rocky Mountain? You did. What, and you're next? Uh, no? Roberto said the weirdest thing you ever ate. Shark fin soup. Ooh, that's, that is a weird thing. Yes. How, what, how was it? He did not say, but I know that's a deli- I know that's a delicacy in in Asia. It definitely like they, is. I believe they kill sharks just for the fin. Just for the fin, they cut off the. Fin. It is. Yeah. Uh, it's disgusting. When the actual shark steak is good, I've had sharks. Yeah, I've had shark as well, and it's delicious. Yeah, I mean it's it's good. It's yeah, not like I mean I would my favorite. I right. don't go out of my way, but if it was, I've had shark, yes, it's been offered, and I was like. That's something I've never had. I'll definitely want to try that. Yes. Because I don't think I'll have ever a chance to have it again. Right. Like, I've had ostrich at Fuddruckers. No shit. Yeah. They have I've ostrich never had and ostrich. buffalo. Let's go to Fuddruckers. Okay. I've had bison. Bison they have there, too. Yeah. They have ostrich there from that Bison Tucson and buffalo farm. are different, right? Bison and buffalo are slightly different. But I would you think they would the taste would be similar? Yes, they are similar. I mean, they're, they're very, they're game. like cousins, right? Yeah. But ostrich is unique. And it's yeah. Good, it's good. How much does it taste Almost. like chicken? It's, it's I, mean, it's more, just, I think it's a little more meaty than it is chickeny. It's because it, oh, I know really? it is a bird. I, it's just what? a really huge chicken, right? It's, well, yeah, I guess. I mean, it's a really good way to say that, I guess. Well, yeah. it's just super tall. Yeah. Or would but you? It's not would, breaded. Is, I think it more, it's ground. Is it more like turkey than chicken? That's probably what is more like turkey. How? Because you have ground turkey burger. Oh my I, gosh, you could have ostrich. You're burger. welcome. Mm-hmm. Replace your turkey burger. <laughs> But anyway, let's What's go to the special of the day. Is what I'm trying to say. Okay, because it's got the toppings. But oh, they don't uh, have the toppings now. With COVID. they closed, bro. No, there's now open again. The one on uh, the one on Elliot open again says we're open. I saw a sign. Oh, driving great, to the Walmart because we tried to order from there in the Costco, and it was like, eh. well, I'm going to check it while we're talking. So. Fuck yeah, don't do it because I love you. All right, next um, up. But that said, their fixins bar is closed because of COVID. So any buffet <sighs> type stuff. So it kind of ruins the whole. Remember? Yeah. Do you remember going to Fuddruckers and piling on as much as you could, trying to smush it down yes. with the freaking nacho cheese that was free, so you didn't actually pay eight dollars for the extra got the cheese? Nacho cheese. I did not. Uh, the onion and then whatever. And you yeah. Just, you just keep I never got nacho it. cheese though. And you try to eat it from. I didn't really care for their potato areas. wedges though. They were the fries were, were not my favorite. You had to get them well done. I way. never thought about that. Yeah. That's how it works. You man. can, you can. I don't need to know. Plot records. I need to know. So, oh, you psycho. But anyway, you, up next is me. Sure, go ahead. What? No. What did you say? What was your last one? Uh, shark fin soup. Yeah, shark fin soup. That was you. So yeah. I'm next. Go ahead. Duh. How about rattlesnake? Nice. Had it. Russell's roost. Yeah, they've had it. They what's, serve it. There. What's it taste like? It's like kind of chickeny. Is it is it like little deep fried bits? Yeah, it was bits. Okay, they're like poppables. They're, very, <laughs> they're like crunchables. Would you like the snake poppables? I would love the, the, the snake poppables. Sound delicious. I like snake I would, poppables. Not, I would love to have that tonight. Snake poppables with a side of arugula. Oh, great! Mm, love it. Fantastic. That's oh, I love it, man. You you do the best, Rich. I know the uh, Thurston Howard. Lovely. Uh, we're taking the aunt out this weekend. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's a beat. Wow. I know. We, I do very good. We, <laughs> are, uh, yeah. In about 23 episodes, is it just going to be other people? <laughs> uh, no, we're we're going to have some caviar. No, what are you th- for what are you talking uh, about? Yeah, I don't know, understand. Mark, uh, you're please. Still, no, you must no, just No, I don't understand. Check mark. No? Please, you have no? to take the yacht and scrape the barnacles off. Don't. <laughs> check mark, please be careful. <laughs> Are you going to confiscate your boats and your barnacles? No, check my please. No, no, I I quit over this barnacle sheet. <laughs> Don't. Mm. I saw you looking at Lovey, check mark. How dare you? <laughs> I saw you. <laughs> oh my god, why did why did it take like 45 episodes for this guy to come out? Oh, I yeah, I do Thurston Howell the third pretty well. Well, th- just that that character sure is yes. phenomenal. It's we just, need a name. Thurston so Howell the third. No, it's it can't be Thurston. Just like check marks, check mark. Like he's a character. Okay, that the guy. The guy. He's a fun. Oh, the bear. lovely. <laughs> <laughs> What's that one? Was that from Family Guy? With the guy's jaw is like. I, don't, I never watched Family longer. Guy. Pretty. It was a lawyer, I think. Mortimer. Oh, and his name is Mortimer. Oh, because that's from. Yeah. Trading trading places. Trading places, my friend. Uh, next right. up is uh, Mrs. Felicia's mom. Weirdest thing she ever ate is eel sushi. Okay, yeah, unagi, I believe they call that. Yes. Eel? 
And I've had so some people sushi. tell me how much they hate it. And I'm like, I love Unagi. I think it's great. I think Unagi is delicious. It's yeah. actually my favorite. But the thing is, it's the sauce that has a little sweetness yes. to it that they add. Yes. That like Megzi's not a fan of super sweet stuff. Well, but, you can get it without the sauce. Yeah, but that's kind of that yeah, whole no. combination of Unagi with I that. I agree. Because it is a sweet salt kind of yes, bite when you I, get in there. I agree. And I love it. And it's it's just this warmth. It's not even cooked. Like, it's just warm. I, I mean, agree. It's, it's delicious. I, I do like it. Texture's good. The flavor's good. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, my cousin like Jose things. also said eel. Yep. Okay. Uh, the weirdest thing that Steve Miller ever ate, eyeball tacos. Why, why did you go twice and three times? Oh, I'm because I stole your thunder, bro. Man, you're, you're such a thief, man. You, go. You, you're a step skipper. Would you ever eat eyeball tacos? No. I've never eaten pig's eye either like you know like from a roast when they do pig yeah, spit roast right. and they, the eyeball is like a delicacy is it uh-huh. i didn't know that i didn't uh, even know you could get that snout. i didn't know and that was snout. a thing until Disgusting. and then when he responded to my request for the survey i didn't even know that was a thing dude. did you go down the rabbit hole no what do you mean did i look it up yeah fuck no i didn't look it up okay because that sounds disgusting i don't want that taco to look back at me bro i don't look i don't need seafood <laughs> <laughs> oh shit that's fucking terrible you're welcome <laughs> chocolate covered bugs was another one uh and i'm gonna go in the roasted grasshopper so chocolate covered bugs any and insect see would i insect. would try that yeah i did I've i mean it. i bet you i bet you like a grasshopper or a cricket grasshopper. that's been roasted that's and like a little bit of salt Not on it cricket i bet uh, uh yeah cricket i would grasshopper would be my favorite just because it seems more meaty i bet you it would taste just like a pumpkin seed it's roasted. It, you put a little salt on it. I've had it, and it, it's yeah, it's fine. I mean, I didn't. I did the whole nose hole thing. Like I didn't. Want to, I didn't want to taste it. Why not? I was afraid. Yeah, you to I'll be afraid. I'll, I'll admit, I was afraid. Am I not allowed be to be afraid. afraid? Be very afraid. Be afraid of the cricket. <laughs> <laughs> you mean that one? Oh shit! Um, that's funny, dude. You didn't even see that. I coming, didn't. Bro. And when you saw you reaching, I was like, "What the fuck is he gonna press? What's he?" Why is he? Why is he pulling down his pants? Oh, I, no touching. No touching. Um. So those, yeah, bugs. I'm with you. I, but you're right. I, it had a crunch, and it just, I had a crunch, to, and I was like, I'm good. But it really didn't have a taste of anything. Like I got to be honest. But it has some protein. I mean, if you're, look, if you're on the woods and you got nothing else, yeah, you're gonna eat your own fecal matter. No, you're not. My grandfather shared a story in World War Two. No, he didn't. Did he? Did he eat poop? Okay. No. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> um, this is the story he told me. He worked. He well worked. He was on the the German side, World War Two, and I aircraft gunner. And I think at the time he that's what happened to him. Uh, he was you know whatever sent to be an anti aircraft gunner, and they were stationed in an old chocolate factory or like a candy factory. Right. And there was only sugar. Oh my so God. like obviously it's a candy factory. So alleged this is the alleged story. Okay. There's just barrels of sugar that just put set aside, but they put up the anti aircraft gun like because they're protected. They're in the building like the warehouse or whatever. Yeah. What to shoot down allied aircraft. Of course. And uh their supply line got cut off. No food. And the guys just resorted to just eating sugar. Yeah. Because that's all you some, have. That's all you have, right? But if you ever ate sugar on an empty stomach. You get sick. They they would just eat it and just like throw up like right away. Yeah. It was just, that's how bad it got, he said. But they would eat it because it would like fill, the, it would just at least because take away you, the pain. Hunger pain, yeah, yeah. The hunger yeah. pains or whatever. Yeah. But then they just yak it up. I don't know how quickly after, but I can't imagine how bad that must have like just that experience that sucked and did that did he did that scar him like did he not like sweets the rest of his life you know that's a good question i wouldn't say that but i don't talk about him too much anymore okay but we'll talk about he'll come up again um but yeah in i mean the story of interesting i want to get my mom on obviously to have her tell the story how how they came here yeah and that story is i it's unbelievable unbelievable i wish i wish my mom would write a book i don't just don't know if it's a book length worthy because i don't but the story is amazing anyway so yeah so they just ate sugar threw it up ate sugar threw it up just made constant ugh. that's fucked up dude yeah damn after you now I, how am i gonna follow that well just tell the next one. i'm gonna follow that with beef tongue 
Yeah. Felicia. I'm not a big fan. Felicia, weirdest thing you should ever eat? Beef tongue. Yep, that's, also known tri- as lengua. Oh, sorry. Lengua. Lengua tacos. Tripe and beef Tripe tongue is are not my fun. Right. Yeah. My fun. But if you Google lengua tacos, it looks so good, dude. I bet it does. It does and it I'm just, sure it's delicious. It looks just like you wouldn't know it's tongue, right. dude. If I didn't know yes. and I ate it and it was delicious and then they told me, I'd be like, fuck yeah. Right. I'd, See? Be, I'd be totally cool with that. I'd have to not know. Correct. But I if would. you don't, if you, it's weird because at the Mexican, the carniceria, the Mexican butcher shop, when yes. you go, when you go you mean up the there. the one that's on every other corner? Here? Yeah. Every corner, not oh, every other sorry, corner. Everyone. At the food no, city, no, where it's I, not. It's every other because there's a Gantera store on every other corner that the carniceria is no, not. Every corner is Starbucks. You have Gantera, the and carniceria, the, the, the tire store. Yes, you're correct. The, the tire. I'm store. translating for thank the, you. Yes, you're welcome. Tires. And I even know L L A N T. Yes, sir. tires, and then the Starbucks, and then the Mexican food store. So yeah, every three. Oh no, and then an L Super. And then a food and an El Rancho, El Rancho, yes. Which which is what? What's El Super stand for? Oh, El 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 Super. Super. That's that's right. Yeah, the Super. (laughs) So my the point is, you go up to the butcher counter. There's all the meat and hot dogs and chicken and blah 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 blah. blah. But they have twelve huge cow tongues, and. Twelve, like I mean, you counted them. Well, because the count, you know, the the slots for the types of types of meat is only so big sure. so they can only the cow tongue is huge so you can only fit so many is my point but it's kind of right. it is kind of alarming and disturbing to see that there but if you do if you just google lengua or cow cow tongue tacos it's 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 delicious i don't know if i want to do that because i'll probably want to eat them it's so good dude but it is more expensive you know well yeah because it is it's just it's a and small there's not part. much of it yeah yeah the small part of the cow Definitely, but it's still a big chunk. Yeah, of a hunk of meat. Yeah. Pretty cool. Next one. The weirdest. Next one. No, no, it is you, my turn. It is your turn, it's sir. My turn. Next, next one. The next selection in the 2020 craziest things that we have ever eaten yes. is going to be spoken by the the Deutschmark, please. Yes. The so Deutschmark. No, a, fr- a Magsy, Magsy's, uh family unit. <laughs> Yes. She had the German blood sausage and did not like it. Why not? It's the craziest thing. Something it's it's called Blutwurst, which is blood blood you know, blood sausage. But there's different kinds. And this one happened to be just extra bloody, I think. Oh. Like a wet blood sausage. Nice. And so that's I can like, imagine cutting my, it and it just uh, oozing my, for lack of a better that's word. That's my favorite. Yeah, right. That's so metal, dude. It is so metal. Yeah, it should have been blood. served in Sweden. Yes. <laughs> or, or or with Rammstein. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely in Rammstein. But it was the German blood sausage. They did not like it. Okay. Sop it up with the tortilla, bro. My last one is the fucking weirdest thing. Like, ever. I think it's going to win. You, would you not like that to, we're competing. No, would no. Would you like to go ahead? No, I'd like to finish yours. Okay. All the ones you have left. Okay. And then I'll finish with this one, and then we'll do our five. Okay. And then we'll, we'll call we it an evening. We have five? Yeah. We've got... Canadian. Oh yes, okay. I thought you meant you crack had five research yourself. staff. You, yeah, Ms. Garcia and yeah. myself. Okay. Um, uh, Ecolima said dog soup in Korea. He was in the Air Force, or any Chinese restaurant in America. Yeah, sure. Um, Georgia boy one said turtle. His, turtle, turtle. His, I've had turtle. His Tia tricked him. Is what he said. <laughs> I've, and had I've had turtle soup. I've had turtle soup as well. Snapper turtle soup's delicious. Yeah. yeah, it was good. And I've had oxtail soup. I think That's I've had that too. too. Yeah, it's so good. It has this like it's like a tartiness. Oh, it's real, but it's like a rich. What is oxtail? Is oxtail. it the tail of an ox? I, I believe. I'm gonna guess yes. Okay. I mean, I just ate it. I don't know what yeah, it is. It was yeah. delicious. I think it is literally ox. I don't know why you'd call it oxtail soup if it wasn't comprised of some sort of oxtail, some stock. Stocks tail. Chicken stocks, beef stock. All the stocks. S T O X. Veggie stock. Oxen? Sure. Oxen schwanz. Oxen schwanz is what that's called. Oh, uh, Jean uh Deutschmark made a return. <laughs> All right. He's, Should he's I creep- continue? He's creeping back into this he's podcast. Creeping back in. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Uh Georgia boy number two. This could this could give you a run for uh, your mind. I think you're going to win. I was just kind uh, Oh, of okay. I don't know. We'll find this out. This is fucked up. I was trying to get competitive. Georgia boy number two. Raw deer heart and liver while covered in deer blood. First kill? 
I assume so. I don't know that. I would think so. Usually that's my kind understanding. Kind of a You're ritual drink, tradition. Ritual to eat the heart and liver or drink the blood and or drink the blood. Right. Um, just like in Red Dawn, bro. Yes. Wolverines. Wolverines. So I thought oh that was gosh. Cool. <gasps> so I I watched Adventures what? of Ford Fairlane. I know you on laser disc. I got not approved by you, but guess what? I've got Red Dawn. I'm going to watch it. Guess who's not home tonight? Megzy is at her parents watching dogs. Yeah, I think Red Dawn's going to be on the laser disc. I tonight. think it's a great idea. Do you want? Do you, oh, you can't stay. I can't stay, but I want you to stay. I know. Maybe this weekend because Megzy's there through Sunday, but I'll be back Saturday. I don't know. We'll figure something out. Okay, because we're we're back on Sunday. So. Yeah. Um, Next up, this is this one is, is so fucking amazing, dude. The the dichotomy of this is amazing. So Georgia Boy 2's wife said the strangest thing she ever ate is squirrel. This woman ate a squirrel? Okay, okay. So wait for it. Semicolon. Her answer to what she would never eat is sushi. <laughs> Megan. <laughs> Megan ate a squirrel. <laughs> I'm laughing with, right? She I'm ate a squirrel, with, but she won't eat sushi? That's George Boy 2. You're, that's not approved, bro. Um, You're cool as shit. That's not approved. Well, Megan is also cool as shit. Because, look. Yeah, she's cool, she's cool as shit by association yeah, right. to George Boy 2. Yeah. However. Squirrel. <laughs> she is from Georgia, so it's not like Actually, that. she's from Louisiana. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it's totally different. Louisiana is its own country, crocodile. dude. Crocodile. Okay, like, hey, what wait, the fuck? Louisiana yeah, yeah. Well, is its own wasn't country. Is not the strangest because they're delicious down there. Uh, so, hey, so you got you got engaged down there. <laughs> Texas is its own country. Louisiana is its own country. Okay, Louisiana is its own fucking planet. Yeah, because all that the, is not even in the fucking solar you system. You would do it like, all right? night long. I've not been there. It's amazing. When dude. do you think? Yes. Can, can we get next a trip? year? To the Mars? Well, you don't have to go to Mars. Just at some point. Can we yeah, go let's, down there? Yeah. I've not been, but I'm not much of a drinker. I'm yeah, we don't have to drink. To, I know, but we'll just, like we'll just eat. Oh, can I show my boobs? You can definitely show all your hairy titties. How, I can't wait to take a picture of all the beads that I collect with these bad boys. Oh, my God. Put them away, bro. This is why we don't do video, Please put your shirt back on. Look, I'm, I'm so just for, oh, I've gosh. got my B cups out and I'm showing They're Woodsy not the business. Go away, you dork. I'm showing Woodsy the business. Put your business away, you fuck. This is why we don't do video. Six feet, social titty distancing. Okay. So that's awesome, Megan. So Thank you for squirrel. eating squirrel, but not ever wanting to try. Even take a nibble of sushi. Thanks. Thanks. Georgia boy three, three, weirdest thing ever ate. Chitterlings. Got? Yep. Chitterlings. I guess it's actually pronounced chitlins. Chitlins. But it's spelled Chitterlings. Sure. So I, I was like, what the I thought it was Chitlins. I thought, I thought it was C H I T L I N S too. It's C H I T T E R L I N G S. Chit er lings. Yeah, so shit. Chitterlings. Yeah. I, so I, I I'm it. like, what the fuck's a chitterling? But it's pronounced Chitlins. And it's just, it's, it's basically the same as tripe, but it's pig, not cow. I was like, oh, now I understand. Okay, yeah. cool. But uh, I didn't know what a chit. It I know what a chit chitlin. It is chitterlings. Look at that. Correct. I did not know that. I thought it was C-H-I-T-L-I-N-S. Yeah, I thought chitlins. it was. See, they even wrote it down there. Yeah. But maybe pronounced. Yes. Chitlins, so it's, so. I didn't know what a chitterling was, but I knew yeah. what a chitlin was. But it's just pig stomach lining. So what are you doing? I was just looking. You're looking? What are you looking at? Um. Nothing. Something bad going on there? No, I saw something pop up into my my frame of mind, but I'm probably just in, you, uh, I'm you probably better impaired. Be. Well, I got a red, we got a red light. I, we do. So we know, and we get the the timer's going up, and we know this because it's really Mark long. was having a technical difficulty in his brain, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, Brian said the strangest thing he ever ate was fish bones. Okay, I've accidentally eaten Clayton before. Clayton or little fish bones, like by accident, like while you're eating, like. Uh, Jose also said eel. Okay. Uh, Wayne said beef tongue. Yep. Sounds like uh, a popular. Wayne was, uh, Mary was answering on, Mary was answering on Wayne and her, and his behalf, Mary and Wayne's behalf. Yeah. So Mary said the strangest thing Wayne ever ate was Mary. And. <laughs> I wonder if it's because she tastes strange or because she is strange. I, I don't, I didn't, I didn't ask. Can we her. get, can we get clarification? Can we get a live call? Can we get a live call in? <laughs> uh, this just did. We no. can Bluetooth it. Shh. 
But the, but the sound quality would probably be shit. Yeah, let's never do I'm that just, again. I'm just fucking. So uh, Mary said gizzards. Yeah, it's the weirdest thing she ever. Heard. I would not eat gizzards. Also, isn't that the shit that comes in the sack in a turkey? I don't know, on dude. Thanksgiving. I know the word, but I don't know what yeah, it is. Gizzard gravy. It's oh, it's all the insides. So, so they put it all um, inside like a netting. I did forget uh, a couple of turkey. other answers. I apologize. No, that's okay. Um, Mackenzie said she would never eat a cockroach. And the weirdest thing she ever ate. So glad was, she said roach after that. <laughs> the weirdest <laughs> thing she ever ate was jello salad. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. And I was like, I go, is that like ambrosia? She goes, no, it's, it's a little different, but that's also gross. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever watch Third Rock from the Sun? Yeah. Do you remember the first episode where they had like a jello mold? And John Lithgow's like, it's showing us what it's eating. I just thought like John oh, Lithgow's that's funny fucking hilarious. Shit. I. He's just funny. Anyway. Um, I also forgot Angela. She said she would never eat anything alive or domestic pet. Uh, she said the weirdest thing she ever ate, snails, duck, and caviar. I no, apologize. I forgot that. No. So I do believe. Oh, are you? I'm sorry. Uh, no, I have I one, other one, other. I one other funny story. I have one other funny story to add. <sighs> this fucking pissed me off, but. You're going to love it. Can you make it faster? Yes, fuck. I got to speed it up. Um, so, I'm sorry. I'm the one who asked you to speed up. Oh, Whatever. Major. I'm an idiot. I'm such a hypocrite. Okay, Don't so Mackenzie texted me. She says, I need I need to revise my answer for what food I would never give up. I said, I'm listening. She said, kale. No. I, she fucked I, with I, you. Right here, bro, in the text message. She did on purpose. She's she, fucking I with said, you. She's trolling I you, said, bro. I said, oh, fuck. Is she gaslighting And me? then... And then she said, I cannot control, I, sorry, I cannot describe the uncontrollable giggles that came over me when I imagined <laughs> you and Checkmark's reaction to that answer. I hate this answer. <laughs> Mackenzie, you're on my sheet list. Of course that's what happened, You're I on said. my kale list. I take, uh, I take poops of kale with you. <laughs> I said, of course that's what happened. I will mention it, and I will try not to control the vomit coming up from the bowels of the earth. Who? Then I said, F it. I'm reading this text message exchange on the episode. <laughs> and that is Thank all you, I sir. have, sir. That is beautiful. I believe that the deer heart liver raw is going to be the like the weirdest food. Yeah. But there's a reason I feel like this one's just the weirdest thing. Okay. Low main. Okay. Sounds like the most normal thing. Yeah. Served. Oh, no. In like a shopping bag, like a plastic. Shut the fuck up. Bro. He said he ordered lo mein. They threw it just like, like not in, in a, a container. Like a plastic in a bag. grocery bag. Like a plastic grocery bag. Like a Kroger so bag. right into the bag. Like, like whatever the serving was. Heaped it up in there. That's weird. Did he I'm eat it out of there? Yeah. That's what he ate. I would have been like, no, I don't. They don't have containers. I want my money back. No no container. No container. No, you pay. Go. You pay. Go. You've been here for an hour. (laughs) You go now. That sounds horrible because they probably actually speak whatever native tongue. Yeah, I know. Yeah, probably shouldn't. Probably shouldn't do that. So apologies in that way. Yeah. If we we didn't mean to be offensive. We try to make jokes. We, We try to be funny. Sometimes I feel like I missed the mark on that one. So I pulled this down. That's my bad. Yellow flag, yellow card. Run some card. Nice job writing on the yellow card, sir. Pulls number nineteen. Nineteen. And then <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, served and it's the serving mechanism in this case is just weird. So I'm like, what are they spinning a circle and like flinging at you like a like a, like one of those rock thrower things like a like a sling slingshot yeah, like a sling yeah. Well, the sling shot. It was is that. a sling. Main. Sling is this guy. It was a sling low main. I'll tell you what. Mm, I like them taters. You can put, <laughs> you can put them taters was in there. Was there a squirrel bag. in that low main? You gonna put them taters in there? I'll take bag. the squirrel main, no, please. No, I want them taters mm, in the back. Okay. So yeah, the serving That's, mechanism is just weird. It's what do you weird. do? Okay, so if that was you, what would you have done? It's really weird. I'd be like, no. Okay, uh, no. Because no, I, I, I would thought, be like, no. Dude, it's low main. I can't imagine it being served any other way if that's how they did it. It's not like they it's not like they ran out of containers and like, hey, we're out of containers. No, that's how they serve it. So I, I, I don't trust the system. I would never go back there. Well, it's like, yeah, but it's it's outdoors, it's like a like a market, probably like a bazaar kind okay, of is place. This in the US? No. Oh. Why do you think I'm I said it the so way I said? I'm sorry. I didn't get oh, that. Yeah, it was out of the country. Oh, sorry. Fuck. It wasn't in America. I'm ladies sorry. And gentlemen. 
I, I thought it was I, like on 24th Street and Baseline, dude. Uh, I'm sorry. I thought I was clear. <laughs> no. I thought I was clear with just the weirdness of it that I it wasn't it was American. Like, I thought you were, we were going to go there later today. No, it was in Asia somewhere. Okay. Now I, sorry. Now, okay. I, I apologize. Now I'm like, all right. No, it's a when in Rome thing, sir. When in Asia. You went in you Asia. Low main out of a fucking bag. Out of the bag. It's just, but it's just weird. It's just yeah, weird. I agree. So anyway, I, I so agree. that's our list, except for let's, you know, oh, yeah, I've got to read somebody's or something. Right? I mean, we've got two. So, so today we asked some of our fan base. Yeah. Um, and we'll, we'll speak them as we read them. I'd like to start. I think we should start with Ms. Garcia. Sure. Cause she has the greatest Trump impression ever. <laughs> uh, let's start with Ms. Garcia's. I think I did. Is it me that's doing that uh, one? Yeah, Sure. I thought you were going to do it, no? Okay, I don't care. Could you do it? Sure. I'd love that. Yeah. Because I think she'd like it, too. Because you know what? Ms. Garcia, we love you. And we are going to vote, or we did vote by the yeah, time Yeah, I put mine up. in the mail today. Oh, excellent. Today is October the 22nd. In the yeah. mail today. Excellent. Congratulations, yeah. sir. Yeah, yeah, yay on Prop 207 for the weed people. Amen. Or something. Even though that's not my thing. Okay. So, Jess's response. Weirdest thing she ever ate. A cockroach. Before she could walk. Yeah, I didn't understand that one. But she must have been a toddler. Yeah, and she adding me before she could walk was kind of weird and kind of funny. One thing she would like to try, which was not the right question, but that's fine. Well, that's because I screwed up. Remember, yeah, I'm, that's what. I'm no, that's okay. Uh, that's all right. I'll allow it. I I keep getting yellow card. How many yellow cards do I get? Four. four I Nineteen. You only get two, and then you're red, and I'm ejected. I should leave. You ejected. <laughs> okay, so right. one thing she'd like to try: a fulfilling liquid diet. I mean, that sounds delicious. Does, isn't that bourbon? Yeah. And That's, Lucerna. <laughs> it's not Lucerna. I'm very Lucerna, fu- bro. I'm not very Lucerna. I'm very fulfilled with my liquid diet. I Jim Jack and Jose, the three wise men, I'm very fulfilled. And one thing she would never give up is caffeine. Caffeine's a great answer. Fuck yeah. Because like no one talked about coffee. Not a single person. It's sh- shocking because I guess well, we, talked, thing we specifically said food. food. We did say food. We but said one thing you'd never drink eat, is a da, 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 da. Food. drink is a food. I mean, drink. I, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Kudos for thinking outside the box when no one else did. Uh, super amazing, Jess, with the Trump Yay. impression. Congratulations again on your podcast with Tony on the MJ Digest. Yes, uh, MJ News Digest, I believe it is what it is, or MJ Digest News. I think it's MJ News Digest. So. All right, man. So we have we have another fan base. Yeah. This is the one we're sending thoughts and prayers her way. Yeah. Tatiana from Canada. <laughs> oh, Canada. Our home and native land. So she's a really interesting person. And uh, yeah, we wish her well. Absolutely. Because we don't. Yeah, we just wish her well. Hope you get better. Whatever's going, whatever's happening. Speedy recovery. And by this time. It's it's already speedy and in already arrears. recovered. All the rears. <laughs> it's all the rears. Yeah. So she so I asked her and she had a really excellent response. And she actually specifically asked my good friend, Christopher Woozy Peralta, to 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 read this for Am her. Am I reading this verbatim? As I think it's a good okay. way to do it. I, I, I don't think mind. I cut out I think I cut out what, what I I removed a couple things. Oh, okay. But I think you're good. Yeah. I think okay. you could read it verbatim. Here we go. Thank you, Tatiana, for your submission. Yay. By the way. Uh, straight from Canada, the home office in Canada, the, our secondary home office. I got nothing. All right. Here, <laughs> here's what she says. I'm pretty bad with the food. Growing up, I didn't have much variety. Also, I didn't have enough budget to try different things. My meal was always basic. After moving to Israel, I gained a little weight. Israel is famous for its food. But I have a problem. I have an acute sense of smell. If the food doesn't look or smell good, i will never going to try it. So I don't have a weird food. I mean, I once, I tried once a meal prepared by someone from Kenya, which I just couldn't swallow. I threw up. Ooh, that's yeah, it doesn't sound good. Geez. I just I left it in there because I'm like, oh, food from Kenya. It wasn't like a specific thing. It's not. I don't think it's general. I think it was something. It might have just been a bad meal. I, I would or a bad yes, chef. I, it could have just been a bad cook. Yes, correct. Um, I don't know the name, and I don't know what it was. The food that I will never give up are eggs. I can eat eggs in every form and shape. I have eggs every morning for at least 15 years now. It's a must for me. They give me enough energy for half the day. Is there anything I want to try? Honestly, I don't know. I'm not too experimental when it comes to food. I'm really sorry. I have my own history with it. Maybe Japanese cuisine. 
I tried sushi for the first time when I was 24. It was my first date with my husband. Oh, Mira. I remember, oh, Mira. I remember I was in a panic and I loved it. Now I can't get enough of it. That's awesome. That's, That's a why fucking I love that great there, story, isn't dude. it? I love that. Yes. Yay! Mini story time, dude. Mini story that time. was awesome. Tatiana and I didn't read that just now. Sushi for the first right, and I knew all this. That's why I when you talk yeah, about the egg on the burger, inbox. when you talked about the egg on the burger, I'm like, oh god. No, I just I love I eggs too. I I make a breakfast burrito every single day with eggs and cheese and tortilla. Same as her. Why don't you make two and send one to me? Because it's very easy. Because you can't have a tortilla. I can have. I can have two tambourines. <laughs> Tortillas. I just don't like egg on the burger. I don't yeah, think those I, should, those I'm, streams should not cross. Making a joke, man. In my mind. Whoa. I'm I'm doing it next time we go out. I'm ordering a turkey burger with an egg. On it. <laughs> <laughs> you prick. Turkey burger with an egg. Megzy, you hear that? Turkey burger with a bra- oh, with an egg sicko. on it. Don't forget. Um, no, but I just love the story. It's like she's never she never tried sushi ever. She's 24 on a first date with her now husband. That's cool. I love that. And then she's like in a panic. And I could totally imagine like, we're going to a sushi restaurant. I agreed to this. And I don't know any of the cuisine. I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm scared out of my mind. Yeah. And now they're married and she can't get enough of the sushi. That's amazing. I love That's that. That's awesome. It's such a great story. Thanks for sharing. Yay. Thanks for your submission, Tatiana. So um, I believe now it would be, we have a, a submission from our crack research staff. Yes. Alisa. Yeah. Alisa, thank you for your submissions. The weirdest thing she ever ate, sour cream and onion crickets. What? So they must have been in that powder, you know, whatever you coat. Oh. Like, you know what I mean? Like I didn't probably. think about that. I didn't, That's I what was I'm thinking. To... It's like shaking in the powdery stuff. Like the Like flavored. Hidden Valley Ranch crickets. Yeah, like a flavoring. Yeah. I'm thinking that's probably what it is. That would sound right. Sure. What she wants to try? Yes. Rocky Mountain Oysters. How about, see, isn't that bull, funny? Bull testicles like the ones off Fear Factor. Oh. Thank you, Joe Rogan. Not Fear Factory, <laughs> Not Fear, Fear Factor. Factor. Fear Factor. Fear Factory is a band, I is think. A, ooh, it. yes. <laughs> cookie, cookie, um, cookie. She wants to try some uh, Rocky Mountain Oysters. Popular want to try. And a popular don't want to try, Isn't and a popular weird as had. I love that. I love how three. certain things get on certain. I like to see the trends between the lists. That's what I did like about this is that that when you when we reflect on when we listen to it the one time, because yeah. I can't listen to anything more than once. I can't. Uh, not us. Oh, I mean, I mean I'm sorry. every Iron Maiden album. I'm sorry, Christopher. A thousand I, times. I can listen to you, and I've actually listened uh, to your play story like three times. No, you've not. Yes, I have. Why? I have not. I can't listen to myself. Okay, wait a minute. Why would you life. listen to my plate story three times? Because I want to hear what other shit you had to talk about me, and if I was paying attention, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the conversation. Yeah. Well, no, me too. I realized I talked way too fast. Really bothered me. Well, I mean, it's not. I want. I want to get a feel for how you are, like with different people. Cause, yeah, because it was a t- it's a totally different dynamic. Yes. When, first of all, you were remote, and it was one on one. Yeah, I am a I step on your toes all the time. All I do is talk. I can't shut the fuck up, and I apologize for that. I try my best to step. I try. I've gotten better. Oh yeah, dude. totally better. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's that. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Okay. Stop. I like pressing uh, the buttons. Yay! Note to self, don't let Chris play with buttons. Yes, it's like a car. Buttons. What's this one do? What's this one do? What's this one do? What's this one do? Buttons. All of the buttons. So, um, crack yes, you've, research. you've gotten oh. amazingly better, sir. Thank and you. I give you tons of credit and kudos, dude. Still not good. Still well, not Still not perfect. None of us are trying. perfect. It's every single day we're trying to get better in every way. That's the deal. But it's a different dynamic because here, yes. I, heard, I heard some things on there that, are slightly different than here, which are great. And it, it's like, cause part of this thing is people have asked us to join, to be on their podcast. Yeah. And I'm thinking like, there's times where I won't be, I'll be out of pocket or you'll be out of pocket and I'll do one. You do one. Like, yeah. And we're going to be doing this. Cause like this, yeah. is, this is a thing like we're committed to and we enjoy this. I this probably should get a Zencaster account, huh? Ha, you use mine every time. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. And you, you, You'll be broadcasting live out of the studios out of Phoenix, Arizona. Hey, now. Hey, now. Uh, but no, it was, but it's somebody just else fun. said something similar to me that it was different hearing that without you. And I thought the exact same thing. I thought it was weird not having you in it. It was very, it was, it was weird. But it was different in, a, in its own good way. It wasn't worse. Well, no, it was just really different. different. I mean, 
like I said, I talked too fast and it was weird. You weren't not hearing your voice. It was weird. It, it, it was, I don't, man, I can't I don't tell you. you every <laughs> no, it's not about that. It's I know. Just, I'm just, I'm hard on myself. You it was, that, man. it was unusual. It was different. The dynamic was totally different. Cause I guess I'm just used to being in the same room with you and we have a certain dynamic and a certain flow. And I like that. Yeah. And this was totally, I, I was out of my element almost. I was so, that was the thing I was proud of you about. Cause that was the first one you'd ever done. Yeah. And completely out of element. Cause you, I, I, I sense a little bit of like, not nervousness, yeah, but like I a was. little, and he's like, am I going to be able to get through this? Can, can I contribute the way I want to contribute or whatever? Yeah, can I be the focal abs- point in a weird Absolutely. way? Absolutely. Cause like, not that you're not a focal point. We are co-hosts. There's not a one and one a we're both, we're both here. Right. But because we both bring something. However, I just tend to dominate in my mouth. I told a rear admiral Commodore guy today that uh, I'm the quiet one. And he fucking laughed. Because, <laughs> duh. Well, you know, because <laughs> a, a lot of people think, you know, people that know me are like, how the fuck are you the fucking quiet one? When you're comfortable, right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so you must talk you a lot. You, know, you don't shut the fuck up, Peralta. So it's like, like, but if you and I, you know, it's you speak 55% of the time and I speak 45 or whatever the percentage is, you know what I mean? So, but yeah, that, that, that interview was different. Very, yeah. very different. And, that, and that's, it's refreshing to me, um, to hear that difference. And I liked it. I like it. I like the way I just like the nuance of the conversation. Cause it helps listening to all these other podcasts. I'm, I'm listening to, uh, what do I work? Eight, eight, nine hour day or eight hours a day. Right. Like at the desk. Right. Yeah, I just right. put on some kind of something, but in this time I've listened to, two, three different ones a day, four different ones a day, plus a Rogan, plus a whatever, like, you know, some of the real polished ones. Yeah. And then you see, like, how that one's transitioned over the short period of time as it's gotten taken over by Spotify. It's a little different. Really? It's got a, it's got a vibey. Di- I think he's trying to reel it back in, and I, and I really admire it, but it's really t- It's hard to explain. And I don't, I don't, I can't put blame, but there's obviously an account, like, it happened. So, you know, there's accountability, but I, it's not blaming. And I, I would never slight anyone for the choices that are made i mean no of course every choice is made was the right choice because the well, good things that are come out of that seriously the, the better things that that he's going to make out of what he got opening a club or helping people he's going to help he helps people he's yeah a good guy he's, that's why it works he's genuine and i think that's why i you know not to toot tout our we're genuine people you and i very real you, we've known each other forever, and it translates when they hear. It. Yeah, I, and I love yeah, it. And I, I love you. you, and it's. I just love doing. Oh my these god, and the I love like fest continues. It's beautiful. So, uh, what do you got? Elisa. What was it, what, are we closing the loop on this last thing? What were we talking about? Elisa? No, about oh, about the the listening to you. Oh, I yeah, love yeah. hair metal. I love it, man. It was great. It was. It's Thank refreshing. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sh- never going to listen to it again. I, I can't promise. believe you listened three times. I just. Yeah. I'm that's. I'm floored. Yeah. It and I and I did. I found and I. I was listening at work, so what I wanted to make sure that I got it all, and I did pick up different things every time. But it, it you, you are you are very magnanimous. You are very magnanimous on it, and, and that's a well. Positive. I try to be that way all the time, right? Not just, you know, no. I don't sense it when we're together because I feel like both of us we just vibe. We just yeah, mix. Yeah, yeah. We're like homogeneous. Like we just kind of become kind of one. How many times do we do we say the same freaking all the thing? Goddamn like, all the goddamn time. time, even on the phone, dude, <laughs> and texting like mid text. Oh, you're getting fuck you. you're getting the text that I just texted or something. Yeah, so. it's dumb. Anyway, but uh, kudos on that, man. Thank that was you. really awesome. That was your first one. I'm really excited because we need to do more. I think you need to do one with Matt alone. From oh yeah, Subfacts, I agree completely. Uh, just on music, you guys should do a music. Oh one. yeah, fucking I'm doing Pantera. a music one about 27 year olds. The 27. I've been wondering curse. about how their podcast is going. I need uh, to. That's on my agenda for to tomorrow. Sound pa- soundcast. Soundcast. The guys podcast. from North Carolina. No, the guys from Europe. Oh, these guys are in Europe. Uh, I, you're talking about Four Loop. The, the, the Thetas Eyes yeah, from the, the Carolinas. Yeah, from the Carolinas. Yeah, I, they're yeah. on my list to listen to. I would listen to the most recent one. Okay, because. As we all, as we all were, like how quickly that and how steep that learning curve is yeah. for us, like whew, right, like we've we're so different from one to now or whatever. I oh, remember one yeah, was. I agree. And you know, same thing. Like when I had the interviews with individuals, Josh, Daniel, yeah, Robin, yeah, I, it the vibes just different. Yeah, but y- the vibes different. You have man. to learn how to have a 
interview too. Yeah, which that's well, that's not our profession. No, we're getting better. Yeah, absolutely. It's like like you said, learning curve. All right, so crack research staff go, Elisa. Yes. Once again, weirdest thing: sour cream and onion crickets. I try that shit. Yeah, I think so. Want to try? Have you had Rocky Mountain? I I don't I don't think so. I'm also not 100 percent certain. I'll admit, I felt like I took a nibble out of one at one point when we were up in college. I mean, I I mean, I've been to Colorado so many times. It I, might have been a real person's testicle. What? <laughs> Stop it. That's my teeth. I Shattering. know this. Well, no, they don't know. Oh. I, I went sound effects on you. Sound FX. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last one. Could never give up. Here it is. Yes. Here it is, man. The closing argument. Okay. Dill pickles. Oh, my God, with the pickles. The sour kind only. The sweet dills are an abomination. <laughs> LOL. Oh, and that's true. And I agree. Shit. Bread and butter. Not, like... Maybe on a sandwich. Depends on the sandwich or something. I could go with the bread and butter on a hamburger, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It has to be on a like a certain type of because it's got a sweetness. So yeah, you add ketchup, you add oh, mustard, yeah. you get add I'm mayo, so relish to make it more of a Thousand Island. Mm-hmm. You're done. We're gonna eat so much food when we when we finish this one. So we've got yours and mine. Yes, sir. Yours, mine, and ours. All of us, please, sir. Yeah. What is the weirdest? Oh no, we're gonna do that one last. Okay. I'm embarrassed to still, if I'm going to tell you the weirdest thing. I'm not joking. You no. have to fucking tell me. You I know. Can't. I texted. I was going to text you. I texted you and deleted the text like 15 times. What? Because I didn't want to. I still yeah, wanted we to make need, it yeah, we, spontaneous. We right. It's always got to be spontaneous, dude. I really don't know if I've got the guts to tell the Twitter world. Yeah, you do. You have um, to. You can't. So let's. What would you want to try? I don't give a fuck. You okay. Try? What? One thing I'd want to try. That's not oh, one of the not questions. Not want to try. Not want to try. Sorry. Uh, one thing I never eat. Is dog, which you have. I, 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 I may have tried it. Uh, abs- you had Chinese food in, in LA, bro. I've had Chinese food all over the place. Da, 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 da. Okay. <laughs> What's kidding. one thing you'd never want to eat? Dipshit? Puffer fish. <laughs> Megs and I came up with the same one. <laughs> <laughs> from two separate Dude, you want to talk about synchronicity is this the one that if you cut it wrong you could die yes okay it's the one where they cut you have to slice the piece out it's like a gland yeah and if you slice anywhere around incorrectly. it incorrectly you puncture or whatever yeah or or miss it or something yeah you're fucked yeah that's a really good answer, answer and people dude. have died yeah that's so a- no thank you i I've had suicidal ideations that I wouldn't do it like that. Fuck that. Yeah. Give me the whole fish, bro. Yeah, just give me a handful of pills and a bottle. Give me something. the whole fish. I don't want to be here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> seriously. Give me every the fish minus the puffer gland or whatever. I think that's the one. Just give me so. the puffer gland. I don't want to be here. So that's mine. I'm out. <laughs> what, what could you never give up? What could I never give up? Cheese. Damn. That is a great answer. And why could I never give up cheese? Because you put it on everything. Because you like to be bound up. I love to be bound up. It's my second favorite thing. You know, tie me up, tie me down, etc. Bind me up. Bind me up. Uh, some, uh, is Chris Roper? there? Uh, he's tied up right now, literally. He's bound up. So uh, you toilet. put cheese on nachos. You put what? cheese on pizza. That sound, this is, you this put is cheese ridiculous. on pasta. You put cheese on my breakfast burrito. You put cheese on... Uh, you cannot have a loaded baked potato without cheese. Well, let me ask you a question, though. Yeah. Your cheese is a little broad. Can it can it only be a specific kind? No. Uh Heather had meat, dude. Bro, meat, meat it's meat. I'm There's saying. so many things that cheese go on. And I don't think I won't I don't give think, up cheese. I think we know what she was talking about. Okay. So I'm just I, kidding. Like bro. I'd give up I mean I'd give I love Parmesan cheese, but I'd yeah. give that up. But the yeah. fact that But I'm saying, like, because they're so diverse on the cheeses. That's a really broad I'm just I'm just saying. Yes, your answer is one hundred percent valid within the guys guidelines that we set out. I mean, you can't have a cheese crisp without cheese. If you just you just have a crisp. Ugh. My favorite. <laughs> that, exactly. Think of all the things. Che- cheese is probably the it's best. It's called answer. a chili cheese dog for a reason. <laughs> Another favorite of mine because it has dog. Yeah, uh, the also the chili cheese tater tots. Love those. Um, I, and the I list goes on and on yeah. and on. Well, and cheese, on. cheese. I mean, seriously, 
All Jesus. the cheeses. There's liquid kind, shredded kind, sliced kinds. We got it all. Melt the one it. in the jar. Cold. You just spray it in your face. Frozen. Yeah. Oh. Yes. What's one thing that Checkmark can never give up? I gave this no thought. <laughs> I'm gonna Once again, the preparation is astounding. But the answer is simple because mm. it's the answer to everything when it, any come to food, when it comes to anything. Bread. Bacon. Yes! <laughs> Come on, bro. Yes, bacon! Burger, bacon, 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 bacon! I smell bacon! I smell bacon! I smell bacon! I smell bacon! Bro, I'm sorry. But oh, bacon. Oh, yes. Bacon is the superfood, my friend. It is. The, it's not the Ackerberries. It's not kale. Fuck kale. Because you, as you can put cheese on everything. You can put bacon on I everything. I can pretty much put bacon on anything. You can indeed. And you can dip it in chocolate. You can't put cheese in chocolate, really. I guess you could, but you can dip che- bacon in chocolate and have that sweet, sa- sweet, yeah, salty. Because yeah, 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 they've yeah. had that. And yeah. I tried that. That shit is surprisingly unbelievable, delicious. Yeah. Unbelievably delicious. Have you had so, deep fried bacon? Uh, yeah, serious. I think I've had, yeah. Well, I mean, it's very similar because I fry it in the bacon grease anyway and it bubbles up because I use one, only one kind of bacon. Do you know, do you get the same bacon all the time? No. I get one brand okay. only. Yes. I am not an advert person. I hate advertisements. I don't buy something because of advertisements. I do. A company, adver- I know that you do. You mean Bro, like Death Wish Coffee so well. and Legos? I know you so well. By the way, I had Death Wish was very good. I am glad good, you liked it. Good selection. Thank I you. know. Um, commercial for right brand bacon, W R I G H T. And their, their slogan was it's meat candy. Ugh. And I said, I'll bite. Cause literally, I generally, Lit- literally, <laughs> right. That's how I will double there. Um, I'm like, if you're going to call me, I need to, I need to vet this. I need to vet. Yeah. We, there's candy. research required. Yes. So you buy it, and it comes either. A is it at the grocery store? Yes. Okay. I mean, Walmart carries. Oh, okay. For goodness' sakes, right. Walmart, Sam's Club, uh, uh, Costco does not. So I actually have to go to Walmart or Sam's Club, just so you know. Okay. Um, but they have a pound and a half piece, but you get the three pound because the three pounds of value. It's like pound and a half is like nine fifty, but three pounds is like sixteen. Okay. But it's and that lasts you three four days, like a day, because <laughs> because you have breakfast and lunch with BLT brunch. After after BLT brunch, like an after dinner supper, yes, dinner Su- supper dinner appetizers, <laughs> pre appetizers, appetizers, pre pre appetizers, yes. Then, appetizers. then you got to put them in your bloody mary. Correct. This yes. is well, that's in the morning already. I mean, oh, we're okay. already starting. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, sh- yeah. Anyway, so three pound things like sixteen bucks anyway. Fried up, and you take that first bite. Snap, and then you take the bite, and then it's the chew. Like yeah. it's like a. There's a meatiness. There's a ga- there's a meatiness to it. A springy, springy. It's kind of springy. I got no springy, um, and it is it is meat candy. I've not gone away since. So I gave into a commercial. It's the only commercial I've ever really given into, and it's been oh, it's been beautiful ever since. Years, years, three years at least. Three years. Bacon, bacon. Okay, all right. And then we're on the last. Yes. All right. The strangest shit I, I've ever eaten. I don't know, man. Um, I, okay, fine. You don't have to say it. No, I'll just, I'm, I'll, I'm gonna, I'll, you, I'll tell you what I got. You and know then, I'm going to tell you because I don't love have you. To. No, I, I, I don't tell give everybody. a fuck. You don't. Okay. Megs even said it was okay, so I'm okay. Oh, good. I'm glad we have permission. It's not like it was her. <laughs> Although, that's, well, that's not the, no, that's not the strangest thing by any means. It's the most amazing thing. Uh, oh, sorry. What? <laughs> We're not talking about bacon anymore. No. So the strangest oh, thing, it's me candy, sir. The strangest things <laughs> I've ever eaten. Uh, turtle, which we mentioned. Tripe, obviously, and menudo. And shrimp eyeballs. Are they like caviar, then? They're Are real. They? they look like caviar, yes, but they're, Are they're they not. Are they squishy like caviar? Well, a little tiny bit, Like yes. grapes? Like little, what are those little mini grapes? Like, yeah, they're very, obviously, little. And it, it How was, many? You scrape them all? Like, are they in a bowl? I, well, so I went to a sushi place when I was like 21 in Prescott. I, like, right after. Yeah, wait for it. Prescott has okay. shrimp eyeball okay. delicatessen? Okay. Let's just back up. Okay. So I had never been to a sushi place. And I had just graduated. And maybe in like the summer, I was still there to finish one class or some shit. So 
this f- friend of mine from Hawaii he goes, hey, man, I'm, I'm going to go to the sushi place. You want to go? I'm like, well, I've never been, but yeah, I'll try it, right? So I go there, and, you know, he's from, he's Hawaiian, he's from Hawaii. And I go, hey, man, I don't know anything. He, I go, can you just order for me? He goes, okay. So he orders me all this shit, and then I'm trying everything. He goes, man, you're the first Hallie I've seen it try everything. I love it. <laughs> like, uh, uh, thank you, I guess. So one of the things that I got when he ordered me some shrimp was they take the meat of the shrimp out and they take the, the tail and the body of the shrimp and the legs and the eyes are all one big piece and they flash fry it for less than a minute, very quickly, not deep in the oil, not very breaded, like super hot, just drop. super quick, yeah. like boom. So it's, you can obviously tell that it's the body and the shell of a shrimp and the eyes are at the end of these, it looks like eye tentacles. Yeah, like antenna. Yes, it looks like fucking antenna, but they're black eyeballs. And I ate the whole goddamn thing because I was like, I just thought you're supposed to eat it. I had no fucking idea. How was it? It was fine. The whole, you ate the tail and everything? Yeah. The body? Yeah. Kudos. I, I don't know if I could do that. I was like, well, when in Rome, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. But the tail thing, I've always pulled the tail off. I'm just, I've just right, had the tail. Yeah. Tail and the ass trail are the two yeah, things I can't That's called the mud vein, sir. Uh, it can't just be the shit track. It's called the mud vein. Oh. oh. Sure. But is, don't they spell it A Y N E? Yes. I believe they're spelled the same. Isn't it E Y E I N? It like doesn't matter. The semantics. <laughs> that's the whole fucking point. It's semantics. I mean, phonetics, whichever one it is. Uh, 220, 220. Yes, check mark. I, what? What is the weirdest thing you ever Shrimp ate? Shrimp was delicious. Yes. Mikhail Gorbachev's asshole. <laughs> not Vladimir Putin? I do not toss his salad no more. Oh. <laughs> I, had, I did have... Vladimir Putin. I did. I had the... I had the poutine. Yes, yes in the Canadian. Delicious. Yes. What, what, what is it called? It's poutine. poutine. It's just regular. Oh, I had Vladimir, yes. Vladimir and no, poutine. I had, had Mikhail. Mikhail's uh, asshole tastes like communism. What is his little forehead thing taste like? And it's like? red, like communism. <laughs> <laughs> delicious. What's the strangest thing Mark ever ate? All right, so. Yes. This one, I'm not kidding. This is disgusting. Um, I'm going to preface it. I was a kid. I hope it was a dare. It was a dare. Booger. Smashed on ants. Nice. Yes. That's awesome. Dude. Who, I, was I it was, your booger? This, yeah, it was so my booger. It pushed definitely. down on ants. and what, I, I had an unhealthy relationship with ants growing up. I love magnifying glasses, and like I, lo- I we had ant hills everywhere, so I always well, was so out it, there. If with it was your booger, you, it's not cheating. It was my booger. <laughs> I don't know how it'd be cheating if it was someone else's booger. It'd just be more disgusting. Um, it was my booger pushed down an ant, and <laughs> <laughs> so what did you like win the dare, or what did you get something out of it? I don't remember. I get teased a lot. I, in hindsight, I think I just did it on my own. I was bored and just tried it. I'm not kidding. That's why I'm a little embarrassed. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Be proud of that. Well, I don't want to be proud. I'm not embarrassed nor ashamed, but it's like I was a kid. Yeah. So, like I played with bullfrogs and I caught fireflies and lightning bugs. And yeah, all a lot shit. of kids like, did that. No, I'm just saying. Like I was a kid. Yeah. I played in course. mud. You know, yeah. I played in dirt. Oh, shit. Like now I'm disgusted by dirt. It's really weird. I don't like. But as a kid, I. I was pretty much always What's out the strangest just, thing you ate as an adult? That would probably be the grasshopper thing or the or the bug. Where did you eat that? I think it came in a weird box. I don't remember. I'll be like on, from I'm, Circle K? <laughs> right there at the counter? <laughs> yeah, my, did you get one of those scorpion lollipops? The, the score. One. I know. Two. two three. <laughs> three. Um, how about, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think that would be it. But the the thing is that memory of that of that quote unquote food that I just mentioned is just disgusting. It's so overpowering. But is that I really can't... a food? Well, it's the strangest thing I've ever eaten. Yeah, you so did. Eat we it. didn't yeah. even say food. I know he we said, said food. Yes, but, you're correct. Yeah. But it was just, it was kind of more broad. It was a little more of the strangest thing I've ever eaten. But um, I've had like shark. I mean, it's unique. I think. Yeah, so we've had that. I've had a lot of different types of. 
that kind of stuff. Like the head. Yeah. The beef head. Yeah. It's kind of weird. The beef cheek. That's super, uh, super tender and delicious. Yeah. But it's, it's almost like a delicacy. It is a delicacy for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyway, that'd be it. Boogers. Boogers. Also nickname of my dog. Oh Booger. yeah. Team Smooshy Face. And also uh, Booger Presley on the mean guitar. From Revenge of the Nerds. Oh, that's right. Yes. And on that note, sir. Yes. This has been another Beer Googles. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hope that uh, Jess, Tatiana, Jace? and Elisa stuck around long enough to hear their, <laughs> their answers. Two, Two hours, hours and, and 40, 43 minutes of fucking food. I am so hungry right now. You ready to eat? Are we going to eat? We're going to eat. All right. Yeah. Love I, you. Bulls, balls. Subscribe. Turtles. Subscribe. Scorpions. Subscribe. 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 Download. Subscribe. Rate. Download. Comment. Rate, review. Please. Uh, apples. Share. We like, we like uh, the apples. Uh, well, that's a fruit company, Lieutenant Dan. So please do. Please subscribe. Please follow. Please rate. Please review. Um, we thank you again. I mean, 5,000 5, downloads in 110 days. I looked at it. I did the math. The maths. You're pretty good at that. 45 downloads average a day. Like pretty per good. day. Yeah. Dude, we're nobodies, man. And that's that's awesome. for yourself, bro. No, but we're nobodies in this in this realm yet. We're working hard to get to get yes. to get some kind of foothold or a footprint or something. We're getting there. Right? Yeah. We've made an impact. We we've made some friends too. Yeah. And we've gotten some feet. It's awesome. It's been awesome. It's for been real. Just I fun. agree completely. I, I enjoy it. I love that we do two different types. I love all of it. And I yeah. love you all. And on that note. Uh, thank you for joining Beer Googles. Hasta luego. I was going to say that yeah, too. Yeah, I know you were. Kismet, <laughs> bitches. Oh my God, I love you. Uh, yeah, bye. Bye.